Hey guys, welcome to the stream, and uh, welcome to the no, uh, the uh, Kugath Plague Father campaign. So we're going to be playing on Legendary Difficulty, Very Hard Battles, as per the usual. What about Chaos Invasion Difficulty? Um, so yeah, these are the faction effects. Hey guys, yeah, welcome gross, to oh, the stream, hang on, no. and uh, welcome to the... <laughs> Sorry, it was, it was, my own videos were playing back on my, on my browser. Okay, so... Um, yeah, recruitment cost reduced for Nurglings, recruitment health, so when you recruit a unit, they start off damage, but you recruit them instantly. So Nurglings, they recruit at like 75% strength or whatever. So Kugas effect, it costs 50% less to infect him with a plague. He gives Nurgle corruption, and he's got a higher chance of infecting plagues. So you want to really make sure that he's always got a plague attached to him, and spread him around so that he can spread the love as it is. All right, uh, let's jump in here and uh, see how we go. Uh, Dimitar Karlukov did a 10 euro super chat saying, let's go. All right, thanks dude, appreciate it. Why is Throg green now and vomits weird stuff? Nah, this guy's better than Throg. Uh, Conradin did a 10 dollar super chat. Nurgle's mechanic seems like it's gonna play as uniquely as the Beastman update, generating recruitment pools, uh, cycling buildings, plague management, it's all very new for Warhammer. Uh, yes, it's a it's a very unique playstyle for sure. Um, it is possibly the most unique out of anything in in Warhammer Three. Yeah, uh, I'll read those super chats after after this clip. The gallows tree, dwelling of Kugath, father of plague. There is no greater brewmaster of phage and pox than he. To describe the squalor of the fetid sewer is impossible. I risked my very flesh to tread it. Kogarth thought me but another specimen for his grotesque experiments. Before the rot consumed me, I offered something finer. Belagor has imprisoned the god bear of Kislev. Oh, how delightful. If Belagor has struck, there'll be plenty of carrion for me. Urson himself lies dying, fatally wounded in the Forge of Souls. A dying god. The finest corpse from which to brew a plague. A god pox, mighty Kuga. A god pox. Why you tempt me, old man? But I cannot reach the Forge of Souls. The Maelstrom prevents us. I can reach it and guide you to the dying bear. And why would you do this, little healthy mortal? For a single drop of Ursan's blood. That is my fee. <laughs> Blood for you, the body for me. <laughs> okay, cool. So God Cleaver did a 10 euro super chat. Chaos is love, chaos is life. Happy to see more. Looks pretty fun to play Nurgle and chill a bit. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, some dumb kid did a 10 dollar super chat. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, Flynn, 10 pound super chat. Oh, to create Hang on. the most unholy of uh, Flynn did a 10 pound super chat. Just wanted to get this in before it gets mental. Appreciate all your work to bring this gameplay to us early. Um, always enjoy watching you play and appreciate all you do, lad. Love from Scotland. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Um, anything else? Okay, hang on. Uh, Mark Yonko did a 5 pound super chat. The last three years have been leading up to this for Papa Nurgle. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Alright, cool. I think I'm up to date. Cool. Alright, here we go. Alright, time to play some Nurgle stuff. So this is their initial army here. What does that advisor want with the blood? Oh, uh, he needs it to, um, to break a, the curse that he has on the Tome of Fates. It, it's like bound to him. Um, or he's, he's bound to it or something like that. Um, anyway, so we've got this battle over here to do. Engage the enemy for, a and then we'll get a plague ridden. Uh, we could get a pox on us right now because there's a chance we can spread it even though we're going to kill off that army and this will give uh okay which one should we spread i usually like to do the pox 
first because if we can spread it to our regions, the extra 25 growth is really good. And there's some pretty good bonuses down the uh, the pox line here. So let's let's infect him. Okay. And so that'll last him for just three turns, but it's only 25, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, and let's kill these ogres. Yeah. Silent Gasp did a $5 super chat. Since Nurgle units are obviously slow and tanky, what's your opinion on how they would... Oh, God. On how... Uh, I missed the super chat. Uh, how they fare against current dwarf and factions? Garrison strong? Um, it depends. Uh, oh, we're going to be fighting dwarfs, so you'll see. Uh, Marshall Newman did a fight with Super Chat. So Korn wants a skull, Nurgle wants a body. What does Slanesh want? I'm, a, I'm not sure at this stage. Thanks, Super Chat. Probably wants his asshole. <laughs> um, who knows? Uh, Kyle Hall did a fight with Super Chat. Hey, Legend. Pick my first playthrough, please. Love the content. Keep it up. Um, cinch. Uh, Step Hen 03 did a twenty dollars Super Chat. Could be sorry. Could not be more hyped. Ready to see some Nurgle. Cheese, cheers, man. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, so here we see how broken, not broken, but how busted the order resolve is. That it gives us a close victory. Order resolve would not be a good idea against three units here. Like, they're gonna do, like, next to no damage to us. Yeah, we cannot order resolve many battles. Is order resolve viable since replacing units is cheap? No. It's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. Um,. Like, you gotta pay a recruitment cost. Jacob P did a 50 CZK Super Jet. Spread the love. Alright, thanks, dude. Please tell me you're gonna bum rush there and clean. Think of the 10% HP bonus. No, that's a bad idea because you don't want to meet Kislev. Yeah, meeting Kislev early is a bad idea. Like, getting the 10% hit points for him definitely is good. Uh, it's not worth It's not worth meeting Kislev early. Alright, so we want to try to use Kugath as an artillery piece for a little bit. And these ones here have got a missile attack. So, yeah, close victory it says. What about an all-flying armor for Nurgle? Um, I don't know. I don't really feel like their flying units are that good. Like, you just don't have that much ammo with them. Grimmy Kalor did a 5 euro super chat. Uh, is it possible that replenishment amount is worse on higher difficulties like auto resolve outcome? Always enjoy watching your streams. No, um, replenishment... Uh, the player does not get replenishment penalties, but the AI gets replenishment bonus. Nurgle replenishes their forces very quickly. Um, Andrew May did a five dollars, sorry, ten dollars super chat. Hey, legend, thanks for covering Nurgle. I'll check it out later. I work graveyard like you, but on the other side of the world. So have a great stream. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the chat. Uh, Edwin Cox did a five dollars super chat. Now that knowledgeable has been nerfed, what's your new favorite hero trait? I don't really bother trait farming, to be honest. None of the traits are amazing, so I just don't bother with it. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah. Did you check whether the campaign or battle difficulty fucks up the order resolve? Oh, uh, no. I knew I was forgetting something today. No, I didn't check that. <laughs> no, I had, I had other things to do, and I don't consider that particularly important. I'll get to that eventually. Wolf Paul did a five, sorry, seven euro super chat saying Nurgle. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Just let them charge in there. Oh, actually, let's get around their back. Okay, we want to. Use that spell, that's like a, it's a debuff that reduces their melee attack, which is, you know, good. Um, Estefano Vignetta, hang on, what's this? Became a member for 21 months. In case you tested this, would you say that this game has been balanced around large unit scale or ultra, and what scale are you playing on? I'm playing on ultra. Um, I have not tested the other unit scales because I, I just enjoy ultra unit scale the most. Um, I believe they've tried to balance it across all unit scales, but I haven't... I can't confirm that at this stage. Is Kugath more anti-infantry or single target artillery? Anti-infantry, definitely anti-infantry. Yeah. He does not do much damage to single entities.
Nicholas the Ridiculous did a two-dollar super chat. Empire Total War 2 win. You're asking the wrong person, dude. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I don't want to shoot in here. It'll just do too much friendly fire. I'm going to go into melee instead. Alright, now killing this guy here is really just so that we can get additional loot money. Because the army is going to get wiped out no matter what, but we just want to make sure we get lots of loot money. And the more we kill, the more infections we'll get. Uh, Mark Yonko did a two pound super chat. Is Kugath good in melee? Uh, he's alright in melee, yeah. Like uh, 50 melee attack, 64 melee defense, that's pretty good. But he is very big and slow. Uh, yeah, 550 weapon strength. His biggest weakness is getting shot. It's his biggest weakness, so be wary of guns and archers, especially low tier archers, because their ammunition is not worth much, and he doesn't have that much resistance against them. The Shadow and Tiger XX did a fight also which how strong are the Nurgle Toads? These ones? Uh, they're okay. I don't think they're that strong. They're okay. Come on, we're gonna try to kill- I don't think we're going to get him. Unfortunately, our forces are just really slow. It's really hard to, to run them down. Oh, hang on, we might. He's got 900 health. Even these, um, these plague drones, oh god, they're really kind of derpy. They don't feel like they move at 90 speed. Come on, I want that loot money. Oh, we got it, good. Since units are so slow, is corner camping the way to go? Um, if the enemy has a spellcaster or any area of effect ammo in their army, that would be the worst thing you could possibly do. Uh, Danny did a 5 euro super chat. What does Nurgle have for anti-large? Love the content. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, hmm. We got a plague flail. That's a mortis engine ability. Nice. All right, I'm gonna take. What am I gonna take? I can get a tiny little bit of replenishment, or I could get a few infections. I think I'll get the infections. Ingredients. Has Nurgle got any Doom Stackable units? I haven't tested Doom Stacks yet. I'm just not at that stage of uh, of doing that in my testing of the game yet. Hon honestly, in Warhammer 3, Doom Stacks are not effective. As, uh, you know, in terms of the campaign stuff. It is not effective to Doom Stack. Alright, let's get uh, campaign movement range. Cool. And uh, what was the mission now? Mission is to send new hero to join the army. So we got this guy here. What's his trait? He got the intelligent trait. Eh, whatever. Okay. And now we need to recruit two more units. We don't need to do it, but uh, getting these things. Okay, I'm just going to, yeah, just, I can recruit more, but I'm just going to do two. Alright, did that flail? Yep, that flail got attached, that's good. Alright. Says Pyrrhic victory, apparently. Miss Super Chat Eduardo Juarez, $5. Does Nurgle have any lords or heroes that are good at dueling? I don't. Not really. Not, they're not great at healing, uh, at dueling. 
Hey, Okoy, how's it going, dude? Uh, Adam did a 10 pill in Super Chat. Kugath's movement speed is looking goofy as fuck. NGL. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, bit goofy. It's that big, you know. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Sorry if I missed anyone, but the chat was just moving up really quick. Uh, Hughes C. Hughes Z. Did, became a member for 20 months. Hey, Legend, did they nerve the first blue line point from 10 to 5%? Yes. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so in Warhammer 2, it was 10%, and in Warhammer 3, it's 5% across the board for everybody. Okay. Now, Nurgle is not good at sieging settlements, because it's just so slow. But we'll see what we can do. He's not too bad against ogres, because they don't have any missile attacks. But he's just so goddamn slow. I'm gonna put this one over here. I'm gonna put you over here. Try to spread out the ogres as much as possible, to, at least to begin with. Actually, you stay. You stay here. Now we kind of want to keep all the nurglings close close to uh, Kugath because he's got some really cool abilities, right? Um, so nurgling infestation. If I'm if I'm in that aura there, I'm able to regenerate nurglings. Well, at least their health. I can't give them their entities back. Yeah, we definitely want him in melee there. That uh, mortar engine effect would be quite good. Probably not so good against um, ogres, but uh, better. Well, whatever, we'll see. All right, tower there. I'm gonna go up this way. All right, all right, all right. There's nobody over here, so I'm gonna go up this way. We gotta be careful though. If the Mornfang cavalry get over there, they will absolutely destroy the plague toads. Alright, I find that these are best used on single entities, just because, uh, yeah, no, oh, no blood trappers, I'll stay away from that. Okay, I'm going to turn him off fire at will, just because he'll aim at bad targets otherwise. Hang on, just wait for the, uh, wait for these guys. These guys are so slow, but they're kind of our damage dealing in the army. Eduardo Juarez became a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Post humor became a member for 22 months. Uh, di did they change Lightning Strike, or is there just additional effects on it now? I've seen somewhere that it increases reinforcement times. Yeah, just additional effects, and you have to put three points into it. Yeah, don't stress about it too much. Edge Roby did a fabulous super chat. Nurgle's personal glory. Thank you. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. A lot, of, a lot of people in the chat. Sorry if I'm missing any questions, but we gotta, we got to focus on some gameplay. Okay, we definitely want to debuff them. Okay, now I want him to be shooting at infantry. That's what he's best at doing. All right, these um, these furies are actually okay. No, that's fine. All right, did they? Hang on. No, they haven't sent anyone over here. Yeah, see, Kugath is doing a pretty good job against those noblars over there, but he won't do that well against against this. Get them in there. Debuff them. Just gonna try to keep our iron stuff there. God damn, they're slow. Come on, hurry up. Uh, Summerlin1 did a CHF5 super jet. Nurgle must be extremely good against Gaven because when he gets ambushed, he has to walk less. Keep up the great work. Greetings from Switzerland. No, 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 no. He would suck against Gaven. Absolutely suck. But thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, we're getting shot up a little bit, but we're about to cap that point. I gotta get Kugath in there so that he can activate his Mortis Engine effect. So we're not taking much damage, but we're also just not dishing out that much damage either. It's just really, really slow. Really slow pace battle. So if that's what you're up for, then you probably like Nurgle. 
But yeah, he can't just rush in and win a battle in five minutes. No, he's got every battle's like ten minutes just to get to the bloody enemy. Why is there a bounce of power bar? Bounce of power returns on legendary difficulty. Now, it, this is on legendary. It's it's just back. I don't know. It's just uh, the age just decided to do that. A tower there's not shooting at us, so it's fine. I don't mind if they come and recapture that. It's fine. Just want to keep them distracted. While I go capture these points. So, like, we're beating them. I mean, the Mournfang Cavalry there did 3,000 damage. That's not very much. And these are just Nurglings and Plague Bearers. It's not that, not that much. Just keep debuffing them. Come on, come on, Kugath, get in there. Alright, shoot this if you can. I'm guessing Slanesh would be best versus Skaven? Yeah, probably. But I haven't played Slanesh yet. So I'm not 100% sure. Okay, they took that victory point, but that's okay. That's okay, it's just a distraction. Are Siege Attacker units still a thing in Warhammer 3? If not, how do you think that this will affect legendary laws with Siege Attacker trade in Mortal Empires? Um, yeah, Siege Attacker units are still a thing. Uh, that remains more or less unchanged. So, Kugath is a Siege Attacker, and I think that's it in our army, it's a Siege Attacker. This position here only has one point, so whatever. Get moving here. But it's good. While they're trying to capture all of our points here, we're slowly moving into the city. Okay, let's get the Chaos Furies to just run them down. Same thing with you. A little bit concerned about my Plague Toads. They are taking a fair bit of damage. Okay, no, no, no. They're about to get pinted. Get, get out of there. If I go in there, they're about to get pinted, so just move them back. So yeah, they're shooting at uh, Kugath, but uh, he's got so much health, it doesn't really hurt him that much. Excellent. Uh, hello, Bala, became a new member, as Drew Boyle, did a two-year super chat. Renz, enjoy the stream. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support, guys. Not too concerned about those Mordfang Cavalry, they're effectively gone. So yeah, the Nurglings are regenerating pretty quickly. This one here, it's not doing that much damage. Don't want to affect my units with that. MS did a 50 DKK super chat. Daddy Nogle looking dummy thick. Oh yeah, he's a he's a big boy. Thank you for super chat. He's a big boy. Look at his look at his fucking feet. He's ba he's got diabetes. <laughs> I don't know if that's funny. Uh, or should be funny, but it looks like he's got diabetes, like advanced diabetes. Like he's he's definitely been eating too much sugar. I guess that's why he's so sweet. Right, I've got this. Slow him down a little bit. Oh, 
Get this one around over here. Flank it. Now, if we were playing as Corn, we would have been over with with the battle by now, without a doubt. But you know, it's, it, we're so slow. I do have him off fire at will. I don't know why he keeps shooting. It seems like even if you turn him off fire at will, he'll keep shooting, which is actually kind of annoying. Because sometimes you don't want him to shoot at all. Oh yeah, that's getting done. Get over here. Don't worry about him. We're not great against single entities. We just want to get over to this position here. I think there's another unit in there. Yeah, if you guys could run this one off the battlefield, not you. Uh, you move around. Uh, uh, let's see which way. If you were playing as Corn, you'd take a lot of damage by now. Oh yeah, for sure. We haven't taken much damage, but we're also just really slow. Oh god, get away from that. They're not good at, at him. Racked to 50 CZK Super Jet. What's that ability below the bounce of power power? Uh, momentum. As you capture points, you just get small bonuses. It's it's not that big of a deal. No, I'm smashing up my plate jets. Get him out of there. Yeah, Plague Toads are not as strong as they look. Get out of that. <laughs> Almost there. It's not a race, it's a marathon. Is Kugath regenerating? Not right now, no. No. I don't have any way to regenerate him at the moment. Come on, move it. Alright, here we go. I just need to do a little bit more damage to inflict those army losses. The Nurgle Soul Grind is strong, or what Nurgle unit can deal damage? Oh yeah, the, the Soul Grind is strong, yeah. Yeah, and it's a ranged unit as well. Is that the army losses? I don't find this that useful. Oh, okay, there we go. Kugath needs a mobility scooter. He's got a mobility scooter. He just needs, he just needs it to, you know, kick it into high gear. What was the ability on the right do? It just slows down an enemy. It's, it's all right, I guess. I just didn't really need it in that battle. So yeah, we did not take much damage. It just takes ages to do anything with Nurgle because they're just so slow. You got no ranged. They're just really, really slow. Okay. Okay, Angel of Dis Hang on. Uh, Nicholas of Ridiculous and $2 Super Chat. What is the average unit roster size in Warhammer 3? Like, 10? 10 to 13 or something? Thanks, Super Chat. Alright, so Angel of Disease grows plus 5 after winning a battle. That's okay, but I think that's not going to provide much benefit to us right now. I really want to go down and get his Mortis Engine effect. I find that to be really good. Um, we don't need to make him a good spellcaster because we've already got a spellcaster in the army. He's just got so many bloody skills. 
So yeah, I'm actually gonna make... I don't normally do this, but because at the end of the line here, that's such a good ability. And also Fetid Stench. You can make units run away pretty quickly with that. And also, just so much health. There's 30% extra health in there. Make him super tanky. And make this guy here the spellcaster. Alright, there'll be a mission next turn to recruit six units. Now, I could recruit the units now, but I'll still have that mission next turn. So I just, I'll just recruit them next turn. Uh, another thing that we could do... Hang on. Uh, Jordan Smith, the Tendals of Vision. Hello, just came in from the Nurgle Explained video. Any comments on the Corn versus Sinch matchup? Uh, it seems about even. Uh, Shadow Broker, the two Euro Super Chat. How annoying are plagues when you play against him? A, a little bit annoying. They're not. They're not that. It depends on the plague, though. Like if they if there's some plagues that are really hurt you. Like uh, which one is it? There's one in here that's yeah. This one here, Agu. All units suffer attrition. Minus twenty five percent campaign movement range. That one sucks. We got that one when playing as Corn uh, as uh, Scarbrand. I got infected with that one. That sucks because, um, yeah, you can't replenish while that's active. But yeah, they, if, late game, I imagine they get pretty bad. But right now, they're not that big of a deal. Okay, so, 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 we're not fully recovering this turn. Alright, over here, we want to go with growth. Alright, we're going straight over here. There won't be an army in there. And I'm going to pick up some more units. Alright, so, of these, we probably want the... Hang on, Plague Flesh Poppies. Which one's that? These ones. Okay, I do want to get that. It is a bit expensive. Because, yeah, you can get a decent amount of money from it. Um... I don't think I want to get that right now. We want to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, chance of, of plague spreading. That one's pretty good, but it takes five turns. Leadership for Nurgling units, that's... Nah. Yeah, some of these techs are not that useful. Um, go with highly infectious. Uh, Miss Pogan did a TRY 20 super chat. Would, would you rate Nurgle well? Um, he's not as strong as Scorn. I'll just say that right now. Uh, he's not as strong as Korn, and he's not as strong as Sinch. Um, I don't think there's a worse matchup in the game than Nurgle versus Sinch right now. Sinch beats the living fucking crap out of Nurgle. Nurgle cannot do anything against Sinch. It is like the most hard countered I've seen um, in this game so far. Um, but... I think his campaign mechanics are okay. It, it comes down to playstyle. He's very defensive. Like, you're not going to conquer the whole map in record time with uh, with Nurgle factions. But at the same time, if you're somebody that doesn't want to do that, you, you don't have to worry too much about getting overrun because your settlements are very defensible. Uh, Nurgle Lord choice is any good? Um, it's the same as all the other demons. You've got a Herald of Nurgle. You know, between death magic and, and uh, Nurgle magic. So it's up to you which way you want to go with that. Um, Alessandro Baldinu did a 10-year super chat. Hi, Legend. Since Nurgle units are not really damage dealers, would you say it's more worth it to build Nurglings based on armies just for cost effectiveness? Yeah, probably. Yeah, just for cost effectiveness. Because we don't have we don't have much money at the moment. Alright, so we want to grab Microbial Bog there. Yep. And just... Okay, we've got this one here, which will allow us to uh, replenish quickly. Um, honestly, our forces should be strong enough to take strong back mount. Plus, I'll recruit some more, more use next turn. What about Nurgle versus High or Wood Elves? I don't think Nurgle stands a chance against any of the Elves. The Elves are too quick and have too many high damage missile units. I just can't see any way that Nurgle can deal with that. Even his fastest units are very squishy to missiles. Where is the landmark building in your main city? Uh, all, all the Chaos factions will have the same sort of landmark. It does the same thing. It's not that big of a deal. Court of the Covenant. Allegiance points. Uh, diplomatic relations with Demons of Chaos. And Control plus 3. Not a, not a big deal at all. Okay. Did we get that mission? I didn't. Alright. Well, let's just see what we got here.
What could I use? Alright, I'm gonna grab some Nurglings now. Oh, whoops. Just two of them. I require. And we're gonna wanna make a, a big move towards there. I think we'll get that mission next turn, actually. Alright. Yep, that's all fine. That's all fine. If we can spread the plague a couple more times, we've already spread it three times, we can get a, an additional effect on Nurgle Settlements, for, so that's really good for maintaining public order. But for the time being, just, just chill, because we don't have that many infections. Let's have a look in Diplomacy and see what we can do. Probably not much. Um, yeah, we can get, non, uh, what's that, military access with them. Bit of money. It's not much. It's... Oops. Yes. Yeah, we're not going to get anything else at the moment. Cool. Alright, let's move on. Who is Nurgle strong against except for Korn? Um, I imagine he'd be pretty good against vampire accounts. Basically, anything that doesn't have good missile units. He'd be good against greenskins. Greenskins, as long as they don't have much magic in their army, um, would really struggle against uh, Nurgle. But yeah, anything with any kind of fast missile units, um, I think Nurgle's really going to struggle against. So... He's just, he's the slowest faction in the game. Just so slow. Alright, so did I get that mission? Yeah, uh, recruit 20 new units. I thought it was supposed to be for 6. Hmm, I don't know, whatever. The plague. Mm, weapon damage, that should go to Kugath. Alright, let's do this. When it comes to economy, where would you place the factions you've played so far? Okay, so the, I'll tell you the ones that I haven't played so far. I haven't played Slanesh, and I haven't played um, Ogres. I can't talk about Kislev, so I'm going to omit them. So I would say this. The richest is Cathay. Depends on how you interpret richness as well. Um, let's just go by tax income, okay? The richest would be Cathay, by, a, by like a lot. Then I would say... Um, probably Tsinch. Then... Then I would say Nurgle. Then Demons of Chaos. And then at the very bottom, corn. Corn is not rich in terms of taxes, but he makes his money through loot. And if you're aggressive with corn, you'll actually make more money than everybody else. So corn can be the richest, but not based on economy. Uh, Musa Malik did a five year super intelligence. And which chaos faction, in your opinion, has the best looking units so far? Also, which have the most unique units? Uh, best looking units? Uh, probably Nurgle. I mean. Yeah, I mean, the amount of effort put into Nurgle is definitely there. Um, and what was the other part of the question? Which are the most unique units? Mm, I mean, I don't really know in terms of, like, uniqueness. Pretty much every unit that we've seen so far is something that has existed before, and to some extent. I guess Nurgle and these um, these Nurglings being a yeah, they're they're pretty unique, I guess. All right, how are we gonna do this? Okay, let's get the flying units to sort this out. And you just watch out for them. I want you to start running up this way. Uh, Baron von Bastard did a 10 pound super chat. Uh, how would you say Nurgle could handle monster heavy factions like Lizard Men? Um, yeah, yeah, it could handle them. You just gotta grind them down, I think. Yeah, it could handle them. It's it's missiles and magic that they're weak against. So if you're bringing like Carnosaurs to Nurgle, then Carnosaurs will take a long time to kill them. Oh god damn it, he's fucking shooting. 
and my own units over here. Fucking dumbass. I find that ogres are actually pretty easy to deal with as Nurgle because they, they lack missile units. But yeah, he's definitely weakest against missiles. And missiles are still pretty meta in this game, so... You know, that's, that's not a good sign for him. Come on, I gotta get... He's so goddamn slow. Come on, boys. Come on, let's go. Come on, get over here, Kugath. You can do it. Alright, we gotta swig around the back here and capture their main capture point while they're all down here. I don't think they've got anyone all the way up there. So yeah, the thing is with Nurglings, is that they're really disposable. They're, they're quite tanky though, you wouldn't think that they'd last this long against Mournfang Cavalry, but you know, they're holding. Enemy. Okay, if I overcast this, it's area of effect, which is nice. Come on, Kugath, get in there and do your Mortis Engine effect. It's so slow. Okay, if I put this here, we might be able to stop it from actually uh, finishing. So Nurgle's basically the weakest faction in the game, period. Um, no, I don't think so. I still think that the Demons of Chaos are probably weaker. Okay, that one there is dying, but you know, easy come, easy go. Rubble Super Chats, so even Korn could do better against missile based armies than Nurgle? Oh yeah, for sure, because Korn's relatively quick. Korn's got some fast units. Because, like, what are you supposed to do against, like, Empire Archers, for example, if you can't catch them? Against overcast it. Decimate them. There we go. Daniel Boyd did a ten pound super chat. Thanks for your oh, this. thanks for your timely stream. I was worried I might have to actually work for the last two hours of my shift. Q, is there anything? Yeah, especially looking forward to showing off with Wyoming three soon. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing everything. You'll see. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to talk about anything specifically, but yeah, there are things that I'm looking forward to showing you. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video, I think you guys will enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. Is that captured yet? Almost. Excellent. The point is ours. Come on. There we go.
Does Empire Archers have enough ammo to kill Nurglings? Um... I don't know. I haven't tested that, but it was just an example. The thing is, though, they'll use up all of their ammo. Actually, Nurglings can catch them. Nurglings are relatively fast. It's Plague Bearers that can't. Uh, Jeb Ricketts said a $10 super chat. Can't thank you enough for the awesome content. Can you speak on human attrition? Will... Hang on. Will Cathay and others be able to conquer the Chaos Wastes? Do full map completion. Uh, yeah, there's nothing stopping them from occupying Chaos Wastes. Yeah. Yeah, like, everybody can occupy every everything, it seems. Uh, Manny Mind uh, did a 50 NOK Super Chat. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, and occupy that. Another laboratory for me. Cool. And let's get some more Nurglings. Now, I'm fairly sure that Karak Dum, oh uh, well, Helheim, is actually going to come over here. Not next turn, but the turn after. So we don't want to build anything here because we're probably going to lose it. I must test my contagion. Yeah, give me that. Give me that sweet ass. Yes. This and this is good for replenishment, so let's do that for, for healing. You know, a tiny little bit of healing helps. Alright, we got 64 things. I want I want more Nurglings. I really want to just, like, put t tons of Nurglings in here. Now, once this is built, that'll give us some Nurglings. And as it starts to cycle, it'll give us more Nurglings. Another thing that we can do to get more Nurglings is the to do the Plague Rot. Every time that uh, transfers, and including the first one, we get uh, one Nurgling unit. How much left have we got left on this? Plague? One turn. Alright, well let's, let's, uh, let's switch it up with Plague Rot, because I want... I want another Nurgling. I... Okay. Yeah, because they're really cheap. They're really cheap. Probably going to get rid of the plague drones eventually. I mean, I can get so many Nurgle, uh, Nurglings for that same price, but and we're a little bit poor. <laughs> a little bit poor. Uh, at least in terms of our income. We've got money. So yeah, don't worry about this one right now, because I don't think I'll be able to hold it. Uh, unless I go into ambush stance here and then just wait for them to come in. That might work, actually. Although, if we don't come down here, these guys will recruit an army really quickly. So we probably probably should go sort that out. Losing Storm Vrak Mount doesn't really matter. I'll just go and take it back. All right. So 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 so. Let me see here. Um, that's all I can do. Let's move on. So what is Nurgle's key to win? Overwhelming numbers, I would say. Yeah, use overwhelming numbers. And just just grind them down. Yeah, there's some situations where Nurgle just can't win in a fair fight. Okay, yeah, that one's recruiting. And I'm fairly sure they're going to bring an army around this way. But, you know, it's only a tier 1 settlement. Did we get any more Nurglings? No. I would get some of them, but they are very expensive. And honestly, I, I kind of like Nurglings better with, um, with them. Alright, if I stand here... I should be able to reach there next turn. That way I get a tiny little bit of replenishment, and we can go into Channeling Stance and pick up some more Winds of Magic. Mm -hmm. uh, Sneed Sereno Game Break Arena did a 5 pence image chat. Slow lacking missiles, focus on regen and magic. Sounds like a lot like vampires to be honest. Time to spam cheap infantry everywhere. Mmm... Hmm, I don't know. They didn't. They, to me, didn't play like the vampires. Yeah, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Thanks to the chat. All right, and let's move on. Yeah, that dude's coming over there. And that one's going around to Glutport. That's fine. You are 
Okay, cool. We spread the rot as well. That gave us another Nurgling. Nice. Nice. More Nurglings for me. Specimens. Uh, Adam did a PLN 25 super chat. Imagine Nurgle versus Gaven. It'd be an absolute slaughter with how good their missile units and artillery are and how slow Nurgle. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that Gaven would destroy them. Adam did a 25 PLN super chat. Imagine. Oh, I read that. Um, the Great Skinona did a 10 super chat. Sounds like Nurgle is meant to avoid fair fights by making sure anybody who shows up on the battlefield is already plague weakened. Yeah, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a plague effect in here that reduces uh, ammunition effectiveness. Where is it? in here somewhere yeah range and accuracy is reduced but it would be way better if it would reduce uh, ammunition because that's what gets you all right so all right if these five units attack Stormbreak mount you know I'll fight it manually and show you just how powerful the towers are and how tanky these guys can be. There's a there's a small chance we might actually be able to win that, especially if um they don't assist. They they will probably come over here and and capture that. And won't be able to do anything about it, but that's okay. Uh, if they head over to Glutport, you know, whatevs. All of these uh what we want to do is upgrade the sunken sewers first. And just uh, just basically use this as a punching bag ground for a little bit to get Kugath and, and his uh, and his lord here. Uh, sorry, his hero leveled up, and also get us plenty of infections. Get that shit going. All right, let's do this. Uh, hang on, I got more super chats to read. They all came in at the same time. Manub hundred did a five year super chat. Nogal soul grind is a fast artillery and should do okay versus archers. Also, take a look at the five unique plagues. There's some crazy stuff there. Yep, I've already had a look at that. It just takes a while to get to that. But thanks for super chat. And yeah, the Soul Griders could do well, I just haven't had a chance to, to properly use them yet. Mark Hawk did a $5 super chat. Hey Legend, nice to see Papa Nurgle's turn. I was wondering in terms of wealth, are demons a poor faction? Um, Yeah, I would say that Kislev... Oh, I can't talk about Kislev. I'd say that Cathay is definitely richer than all of them, for sure. Um, Nifflesite did a 55 in a case of jet. What's the best Nurgle faction has to offer? I don't know at this stage yet, it's too early to tell. But thanks for super chat. 40% ammo, Plague, you went over it. Yeah, 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 I, I didn't, I did see that, but that's only if you're a siege defender. So, you you have to be during a defensive siege in order for that to affect. Which is still good, but that won't apply on field, field battles. Yeah, main thing here is just want to get, it doesn't matter about gaining territory, just want to punching bag them all, just keep fighting, get Kugath leveled up. He's got such a good skill tree. All the way up to level 50, you're gonna get, going to be getting good stuff the whole way there. D did Legend say 500 euros super chat? Did I? Sorry, I meant whatever it was. I don't think I said that. Sorry, there's just a lot going on in the chat at the moment. Appreciate everyone being here today, hope you're enjoying it. Um, but yeah, if you're if expecting fast-paced battles, that is not how Nurgle works. <laughs> I don't think anyone expects that out of Nurgle. Alright, we're going to attack through here. I find that this map here is relatively easy to attack. I like to keep all my infantry together. And this guy here, these guys here to go around and sort of pick off weak spots. Okay, uh, could, could you come over here and destroy this for me? I want you to go over here. Okay, maybe I do want to shoot. Mm. I mean, I could go around it, but I think I'll go through the barricade. They don't have any missile units apart from the tower. Uh, Sprit Sable did a 50 DK case of shit. Can played stack, so they are the target of plus two plagues. I don't think they can. I think only one plague at a time. But I'm not 100% certain about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just one plague at a time.
Yeah, so we want to cap their tower so it slows down their rate at building more towers. How exactly does the cyclic buildings work? They grow fast to five and then reset. Yeah, pretty much. I'll show you when I get up back on the campaign. Sound like Gasp with a $20 uh, super chat? And he pauses. Uh, would you agree that for Nurgle, to handle the fast missile magic factions easier, he would need to fight a war of attrition with plagues, etc. on the campaign map first, before engaging on the battle map? Battle map use magic mostly. Um, the problem is on legendary difficulty, causing attrition on the AI is almost pointless. Like, they take about 1% damage per turn, even if they've got an attrition plague. So you mainly use that attrition for them to prevent replenishment, not to actually defeat them. So, yeah, I think that Nurgle is very heavily affected by the campaign difficulty, more so than other factions. Because, yeah, they just the AI is just not really affected that much by the plagues. Um, Kurt Edward did a $2 uh, in the chat. What's the fastest Nurgle unit you know? Probably the Soul Grinders. I mean, the uh, these ones here are pretty fast, but they just feel slow. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate you. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Alright, let's pop this down overcasted. The area of effect. The tower over there, go destroy that. It is done. My experiment succeeds. Oh crap, get him out of there. Yeah. <laughs> These plague toes, I don't I just don't think they're very good fighters. No 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 no. Much quicker if you go into melee. Doesn't matter the barricades there, it's not hurting us. Not really. Got it. Gotta push him in. Wanna be in melee, not not ranged. That's it. There we go. There we go. Okay, send them around a different way. Main thing there is just keep them distracted. Yeah, the barricades bounced the, the spells, so I wasn't going to hit myself for that. Yeah, we want to keep Kugath close to all the Nurglings because he provides regeneration for them. That's why it's it's very useful for blowing. Just got to be careful for the drawbacks of them. See, we're not taking much damage. It's the towers that are doing the damage to us. Even Kugath getting shot by the Noblar Trappers, they're just not really doing much. Okay, get over here. Take this one out now. See, they win in melee. How would dwarves fare against Nurgle? Um, you want to bring a lot of range. Yeah, if the dwarves bring lots of range and artillery, then they would fare pretty well because. Nurgle's actually slower than they are, for the most part. Uh, but if you bring loads and loads of melee units, you will you will not do well. Especially considering they do physical damage. But yeah, if you're if you're playing as dwarfs and you're going up against Nurgle, you probably want to bring rangers. Because Nurgle just can't do anything about that. But if you're playing as Nurgle and you're going up against dwarfs and they have ranged units and artillery, you probably need to waste their ammo. That's pretty damn important. Let's see. What's the army ability? Slows down enemies. I just don't really need it right now. It's just, it's just not doing anything for me. It's a very low impact ability, that one. Q 
Can Kugath get horrible regeneration? Uh, no. I don't think so. Well, time to break through this. Can flying units capture points while they're not airborne? No, they can't. There we go. Okay, get moving over here. We're getting there. Bit by bit. Just gotta move slow. Now, one thing that we could do with this guy, because this only costs four wins of magic, and I've got the heal passive. It's kind of like um, Law of Life. If we want to... And because Kugath has got so much health... I could just cast it on somebody, just not overcast it, just to just to heal the entire army, but just a tiny, tiny little bit. So yeah, gave him you know two or three hundred hit points. Okay, good. That one captured. Now swing him back around over here. Like I said, the main thing I'm getting them to do is just be annoying. It's my only fast capable unit. Good, we'll capture this pretty quick. I found that Nurglings are pretty good at capping points. Yeah, he's definitely anti-infantry. Alright, did we just win? Oh crap! I thought I told them to get out. <laughs> They're getting smashed. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Rally. I thought I told them to get out. Oh no, I don't think they're going to rally. Usually when a unit, I think it, I think it banished. Yeah, it's gone. That's okay. I was going to just ban it eventually anyway. That's okay. I'm not a big fan of Plague Toads. I just, I just think that they're very squishy. And they're really expensive. Beyond 4MD, the $10 Super Chat God King Legend, would you be blessing your viewers in the future with a 1v3 multiplayer campaign? No, definitely not. Uh, just, oh, well, co op, maybe, we'll see. Just curious if you think the A player MP, if you'd stream it now. B4TBG. Uh, it's not a priority, but thanks, Super Chat. Uh, Mark Hawk did a $5 Super Chat. So it was asked before, but will you cover every race before release? I kind of want to see you work with Slanish sometime. That's the plan, but, you know, there's a lot to do. Thanks for Super Chat, appreciate it. Yeah, it's alright. I was gonna just I'm gonna just ban these two as well. In due time, just because our economy <sighs> Nurglings are just way more cost effective. And you know, the only thing I was getting them to do was cap points. Rip frogs, yeah. They died so quickly. They're they're really not that good. And even when they go up against infantry, I just find that they just don't do much damage. So. Alright, this battle will be over any moment now. Alright, I've capped some points, and yeah, we just need to be done here. There we go, we got him. I have a question, can I confederate Korin as Zinch or Nurgle? No, you you can't um, confederate people of other other races. Will I play Cathay soon? Uh, I'll play Cathay at some point, I just don't know when. Okoye did a nur 19 Nurgling crap stack, gotta say I love it. Yeah, but that was on normal battle difficulty, I just want to point that out. But yeah, with uh, Kugath... Um, Nurglings are very cost effective in the early game. Also, if I keep fighting and winning battles, I'll get a follower that'll reduce my Nurgling upkeep cost by 20%, making them even cheaper. So it's just really cost effective. And considering there's not a whole lot of wiggle room with these other units right now, you know, I'm pretty poor. Nurglings are pretty cost effective way. Um, Tana would, uh, Dottie today, 5 Super Chat. What do you think is Nurgle's strongest unit? Any Doomstacks worthy? 
Um, I don't know at this stage. I really haven't played them enough. I'm very new to it. So I'm by no means an expert with Nurgle. As you've seen there, I'm still not getting the hang of it just yet. There, Nurgle's playstyle is is uh, very... Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, that's Plague Bearer unit. Oh, that's still... I got Plague Bearer units. Leper Lord. Cool. Yeah, I haven't got the hang of Nurgle yet. I'm still very uh, new to it. Alright, cool. We got an enchanted shield. Alright, now we gotta clean up what we're doing. Okay, so Nurgling Tide. Um, I tried this. I didn't think it was that good. It spawns like a small unit scale Nurgling unit and doesn't last very long. Um, can be useful to soak up some missiles, but also not really. Um, Dead Eye for extra ammunition can be good. Yeah, it's extra three shots. Or melee attack. Um, because I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everything. He's just got such a thick skill tree. I'm going to go with Dead Eye. Okay, and this one here, we want... Uh, this is like, um, Spirit Leech, except way more expensive and maybe a little bit more damaging. I think Stream of Corruption is better at this stage. Okay, and... I can get another Nurgling. That's nice. Do you take me for a wazak? I must test. Uh, these uh, beasts of Nurgle aren't too bad either because they regenerate. So they they hit reasonably hard, but their melee attack and melee defense is not amazing. Uh, but yeah, plague toads. Oh, they're not super expensive, but yeah, like it started crumbling at like fifty percent health. It was only fighting one unit. Or two. Okay, what should we do now? So, how damaged are we? Okay, that'll be fine. I got no more Nurglings in the queue at the moment. 18 should be fine for the time being. I'm just concerned about what they're doing. They're not going to be able to get to Glutport just yet. And even if they do, I don't think they're going to be able to capture it. We will see. And... Uh, it's most likely this is what's going to happen. This guy will attack first. It would be in our best interest if this guy captured Stormvrak Mount as opposed to Clan Helhine. It would definitely be in our best interest for that to happen. Now, what we could probably do... Ah, uh, they're building another army over here. I was thinking about coming over here and blowing that up. I don't want to occupy it. Uh, we want to focus on this province here. If anything, move north. We could go over here and just blow that up. While they're out here trying to take our settlements. The plague weaver. And we don't want to go down south because I do not want to meet the order tide just yet. Uh, Kugath can have a big problem with that. Alright, this all seems fine. And let's move on. Command okay, commandment available. Let's pop down. Chance of plague spreading. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And let's... Yeah, next turn we'll need to reset the uh, the rot. Uh, Kettle did a hundred dollar super chat. Hey, legend! Thanks so much for all the entertainment and helpful videos. Keep it up, man. All right, thanks, dude. No worries. Oh, I thought they'd attack. Uh, really generous of you. Appreciate it. Kugath start with hates dwarfs. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, I should um I should showcase that. <laughs> wow, we didn't actually, and it spread. Nice. Good, that gave us some more Nurglings. Okay, we need to we need, we need to spread it again. Oh, cool, because we've spread it a bunch of times now, Weeping Eyes. Uh, but we want that to spread onto them, and we've also got Fever. So every time we do this, we get a 150 gold. Every time it spreads. So, okay, now that we've got some symptoms, this is what we do. I... Th let me just have a look. I tell you what. Constant vomiting, summon a unit of plague bearers. That's pretty good. So let's get plague rot again. And then use this effect so that we can actually get some money out of it. And for every effect, it you know, we gotta it adds some more cost onto it. So 50 infections, which is pretty much all I've got. 
Yeah, actually, actually, I don't have that many infections. Let's just, um, let's just stick with the base one for the time being. Getting 150 gold out of it is not worth 25 at this stage. The problem with this, though, is that you don't get more, um, infections when it spreads. Whereas, hang on. Uh, Marissa443 did a 5 euro super chat. Hi, Legend. Uh, Wormer 3 looks beautiful so far. Would you say it runs better or worse than Wormer 2? I'd say it's the same, um, based on what I've played so far. There are some areas where it runs better, some areas where I get some serious frame drops. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Um, or we could do... Hang on, let me just see how many... Nurglings we got. We got... Get one more. I want more Nurglings. Yeah. Reducing their upkeep by 20% was good. Which one should we do? Because I do want this, but we got to spread it 50 times. We've currently done it 6. Um, yeah, I'll go with... I'll go with this. On Kugath Plague Father. And that gives us... Another... Nurgling. Giving us finally a full stack. Okay, now... I don't think I can get there in time to save it, even if I force march there. Uh, Blood Ripper Zed did a 5 pounds super chat. I thought I smelt something stinky, Mr. Legend. Looking forward to the rancid cheese you'll find in Papa Nurgle's name. Keep up the rotten work. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Do plagues seem more or less efficient? It's different from plagues from Warhammer 2 with Skaven. The initial plagues are not that powerful, but later down the track, they'll last a really long time and they'll be a way more impactful. So yeah, with, uh, someone was saying about, um, with these buildings, right? So, we're... So we've got it at rank 2 Microbial Bog, right? So it's currently here. Right, and in two turns, it's going to, it's going to go back to tier 1 because I'm not at tier 2 yet. So it's just cycling through at the moment. Uh, John Malcolm did a five pound super chat. Thanks, dude. Um, Ar Arky did a ten dollar super chat for your near infinite patience. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. It's okay, it's my job. Just you know, it took a while, but I got used to it. Okay, so that's good. We want the okay. What's done? What else do we need? Leadership for nurglings. Nah, they're fine. Uh, we'll just get that one, because we want to start moving on to the next one. It's only two turns, and five extra growth, no big deal. Could come over here, but I need to need to stop that. Do you know what the funny thing here is that if I force march over here, and we reinforce, and they win the battle before we can arrive, we would get wiped out. <laughs> That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. Um, so I think the best course of action would be to move to about here and actually go into ambush stance so they don't see us coming because if they see us coming they might um, they might launch the attack early whereas they might want to just let us take one more turn of attrition Problem is, as well, that's a very large army. That's going to be difficult to crack. That's a very large army. But yeah, I just can't get there in time. And, uh, well, we'll just, uh, we'll see how we go, yeah. Uh, I'll just see. Okay, Mr. Malaxon did a 50 CZK Super Hi, Legend. Thanks for the content. Great work. I would like to ask, with Warhammer 3 Winds and Magic Changes, what you suggest in terms of casting overcasting. you got to make a judgment call, just like always. Um, don't always overcast and don't always single cast. Look at the effects and decide whether or not it's worth it for you. You know, m move out of mindsets of rigid always do this and always do that. Don't, don't ever think that way, because you'll get screwed up one day. All right. So we've got this unholy manifestation here. That can give us... No, 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 don't do that. We won't be able to move. Um, can give us extra casualty replenishment rate. But I'm really low on... Yeah. Oh, I've got a good amount saved up. How are we going for growth? Two turns, and then we're up to here. We're at 46 growth. Okay, don't worry about it. Let's move on. 
That's going to be a very slow battle. Don't forget we've got a Mortis Engine effect. It just depends if they launch this attack or not. Because I can beat them on the field. But I'm just not 100% sure if I can beat them on the siege battle. They, they just maintain the siege. We're good. We're good. We can, we can lift the siege. Alright, I can't get to them that way. But I can... I think I can lift it. All oh, right, I'm gonna get him closer. Caught on turn six, times forty tours. Easy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're not wrong about that. Okay, they ran away. Hopefully, we got enough movement to catch them. I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't have enough movement to catch him. Okay, if we have a look over here, their military presence is just one. Flesh Greeters. When did I go to war with them? Oh, I've been at war with them the whole time. Um, yeah, a part of me wants to go over here and blow that up. I can't go into ambush stand. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, we'll go into ambush stance. I can't get any closer, and we'll just see if they make the attack again. Why are they taking the trip? Oh, because they're in chaos. Cool, well, we didn't lose the settlement, so that's good. That's good. Uh, I don't know if we'll hold it, but so just leave it as it is for now. Okay, that seems fine. And... Okay, that army will be very easy to deal with. The only thing we have to worry about is quarrelers, but I've got to, I've got to get them over here. Also, I want to be done with them as quickly as possible because I need to take out the Sinchian faction as quickly as possible. Because, uh, well, actually, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. It's tough, but taking out their settlements before they get too strong is a good idea, I think. So I did in the other campaign; it worked out fairly well. But they're tough fights. All right, moving on. How slow and tough are Nurgle's units? Will a ranged heavy army just dominate them? Yeah, they are very hip. They're very good in melee. They're very good at slowing enemy melee units down and like beating them with attrition, sort of. But they're not good against ranged armies. Michael Taylor, the fight was which had hellage. And what graphical setting would you recommend to have the best experience without turning my CPU into a toaster oven? You have to benchmark that yourself, dude. Thanks for super chat. But yeah, you got to benchmark that yourself. Okay, we'll go with the plague bearers of Nurgle because I think they're better. All right, well... Okay, we got him. We got him. They jumped in the underway. Okay, looking back over here, there's still just one military presence. All right, here's, here's what we could do. We could come over here and capture or blow up Karak Dum. These guys will probably... Because if I attack him, I'm in the opposite direction. They're just going to recruit another army. Because it doesn't look like they're they've only got a military presence of one. Hmm. Just trying to decide what to do there. What to do? Looking at and we've also got Cracker Drac on the way, but there'll be a few turns. Okay, we can upgrade the sunken. Hey, that went to tier three. Oh, I see. It's going towards tier 3. It's at tier 2 at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it'll... It can't get there because we're only at tier 2. Tier 1. But if I get this built in time, it can. Uh, it's... Uh, Shmeez... Shmeez, 88, did a five, $50 super chat. Cheddar for the cheese lord. Spread Papa Nurgle's up. Alright, thanks. We appreciate it. Uh, Lolo Killer did a 50... And okay, super chat. Hey, Legend, would you go over how the building rotation works? Alright, thanks, super chat. Um... Okay, just real briefly, you build the base level building at tier 1, and then it automatically cycles through, but it's blocked by the settlement level. So eventually it ends up at the max tier, and then it just resets. It keeps going cycle over and over and over again. Every time it goes to the next upgrade, you get a new unit put into your um, recruit pool. So we should have another Nurgling in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got another couple of Nurglings. That's good. Honestly, using these dwarfs as as uh, cannon, not cannon fodder, but training experience for Kugath can be good. So let them build up another army while we deal with 
with whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna go after the zombie here. I wonder if they'll stand and fight. Who wins in melee, Nurgle or Corn units? Neckbeards or keyboard warriors? Um, in melee, I would I would say Corn wins, but in terms of campaign side of things, um, Nurgle is very difficult for Corn to defeat because it's very difficult for Corn to get in and capture the settlements quickly. Because Corn's units can be a little bit squishy, just a little bit, some of them. So he ran away from us, right? Because the army, our army's stronger. But when we order resolve, it reckons it'll get completely wiped out. Whatever you reckon, bro. Okay, so what we want to do here is blob. Blob, 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 blob. <laughs> because we want to make use of Kugath's um, uh, Mortis Engine effect. We also need to get rid of the Quarreler's ammo, but the way to do that is just have Kugath uh, kill them with his artillery. Does Nurgle is better for Colt? Uh, I think all the Colts are more or less the same. It's probably least useful for Korn since he just kills everything anyway. Cinch makes pretty good use of the Colts. I haven't played Slanesh yet. Okay, yeah, hang on, what am I doing? Blob. around the Nurgling love. Make it fucking impossible for them. I don't mind if I get totally surrounded, so I'm not going to corner camp. Should be fine. What we want to do to begin with is get rid of the Quarrelers, yeah. Position ourselves in a position there. Alright. Yeah, odds are fine. Does the AI take damage any damage from attrition? Very little damage from attrition. Very little. Look, these guys are at full strength and they were taking attrition. Yeah, not very much. Eventually they'll start advancing on us. But yeah, we definitely want to prioritize getting rid of those Quarrelers. Those are the only units that can do any serious damage to us. Even the Slayers just aren't going to do very much to us. Because they do physical damage, and we are demons, so we are resistant to physical. And dwarves are not going to fare well here. Uh, Mark Hawk did a 10... Actually, no, no, back up, back up. The 10 dollars super chat. We'll have two questions for once. I'm playing on my other monitor, so I'm wondering, when's a good time to invade Ulthwan as Malachus? Turn 50? Keep being awesome, man. I mean, you do it when you're ready. Don't, like I've said before, uh, avoid rigid um, strategies like that. But around, I'd say, turn 50 seems okay. You know? But don't do it before you're ready. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah. Like, if it takes you 100 turns before you're ready, then 100 turns it is. Just do it when you're ready. Okay, we've almost gotten rid of them. If we get rid of their missile units. Good. Off you go. Yeah, get them to say sort it out. Because we've also got this debuff to lower their uh, melee attack. I see. Things are involved a bit. Alright, Mortis Engine time. Doesn't tick up like it does in, in Warhammer 2. You gotta... Keep oh yeah, that damage is going up big time. Surrounded. 
The thing is, I got them right where I want them. <laughs> Look, those are all the units that are being affected by my mortis engine effect. I got them right where I want them. When you miscast, it actually damages other units around you as well. I'm just not taking damage. Like like I said, this is you know, melee is just not how you defeat core uh, uh Nurgle. You have to use ranged and magic. Like obviously if they did a rune of wrath and ruin in there that would be really bad, but I knew they couldn't do it, so that's why I did this. Okay, I'm just going to single cast because I'm, I'll do more damage to myself. And this way at least we get a little bit of regen. Link CD5, you're a super chat, Nurgling's new Skelly spam? Uh, yeah, for him, kind of, yeah, kind of. Thanks, super chat. And I've got this, but that's not really very useful right now. <laughs> Major just surrounded. Imagine one flamestorm. Well, yeah, obviously I wouldn't do this if they had flamestorm. Obviously, yeah, that would destroy me. How are those slayers doing? Bit of damage. Infection is inevitable. Hey, look at that. We're almost at 10,000 viewers. Appreciate you guys being here today. I hope you're enjoying the stinkiness of this. Let's get some cinematic in there. Since I guess that's one thing about Nurgle is that if you're in a situation where you're just in melee, you can actually go into cinematic mode and just watch them fight. Since I don't really have anything to worry about right now. They can't beat me. Caleb Noise did a one dollar super chat. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Okay, the army losses are triggered, we just need to get rid of the Slayers. So, Kugath managed to get 33,000 damage. Do you think Nurgle will be reliant on allies to provide ranged weaponry? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Thanks for Super Chat. I didn't even think about getting some, like, rattling guns from some Skaven. Not a bad idea. Alright, gotta kill the Lord so that we get... It's worth a lot of loot money to kill the Lord. And obviously our guys are not particularly fast.
Neither is he. Hmm. I don't think it's going to manage. They're not the best at it. There's this. He's still got a fair bit of distance to travel. We might make it. Maybe I'll try to land them. The thing is, if I land them, they'll go really slow across the land. It's actually not useful at all. No. Just want him to change directions. Have you tried transferring ally units to another lord? Haven't I uh, didn't have time today. Like I said, not not really a high priority, but no, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, in the campaign I'm currently playing, um, I just haven't racked up enough um, allegiance points with my ally to recruit enough um, units. And... Uh, yeah, if I was going to check it, I should have done it earlier on the campaign. It's a bit late now. Uh, RB Gaming did a £2 super chat. If Kugath wears a face mark, is he wearing thong? Maybe. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. 100 rubles Super Chat. What's the beef between dwarves and Kugath? Okay, so Kugath hates dwarves because dwarves are resistant to plagues. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's it. That's it. Kill him. There we go. What about allying with Cinch to get some range units? Well, the problem with that is that um, Cinch hates... Like, Cinch factions hate Nurgle factions. So it's very difficult to get an alliance with them. It's possible, but it's difficult. How many rounds can you play? How many turns? I can go up to turn 75. Are the Plague Bearers any good? They do a lot of damage, but they're really slow. So they're the ones that dished out most of the damage, apart from Kugath himself in this battle. But yeah, they're, they're way slower than Nurglings. 105 infections. I'll take that. Oh, look at that. I actually contracted a plague from them. Look at that. I got six turns of rot. Nice. Oh, I got another one of these. Give me the one for Nurglings. Um, Dwarfish Taku did a five blows of Bujat. And this is the war. Does Kurugath have any hero or lord traits that decrease enemy morale like Wrath or Nurgle Stink? Um, not fact, not like on the region, but he's got, um, he's got this one here. Minus eight in an area. That's about it. Um, thanks for Bujat. Cesarek did a five years of Bujat. I'm now playing Lizardman by Skink Chief. What do you choose as mass? Stegadon or Rage Shin? Stegadon. Regular Stegadon. Thanks for Bujat. Um, uh, Martin Gortner, sorry, Gorto. Did a five year super chat. Hey legend, thanks for all the Thanks for all the OV What? Thanks for all the over the years. I've uh, been watching since Total War Rome and always had a blast. Please pick my first playthrough. Uh Cinch, there you go. Thanks Super Chat, appreciate it. Do those followers stack? There, no, because I've already got one. Um Where is it? Leper Lord. I don't think I can attach Leper Lord to him. Let's have a look. Yeah, it won't. This magic item or ancillary can only be equipped by the by the Lord, so I can't I can't stack it. That would be good if I could, <laughs> but no, I can't. Yeah, make plague bearers free. So this one here will give melee defense for Nurglings. Um, I think I would prefer at this stage here. Mm. Yeah, I'll get that, and then grab that. Such power! How fascinating! You've done it now! Okay, they're not that strong. Are they sitting in that settlement? No, I don't, I don't know where they are. Alright, I'm gonna go into... Ambush stance. I don't. Oh, can I get just a tiny little bit of movement somewhere? No. So yeah, we're gonna go into ambush stance to try to trick another enemy to come over here. 
Oh, but then again, I'm kind of far away, so let's just get in a little bit closer. I could force march to here. I think I'll be fine if I get caught on force march, even if I get caught by ogres. So just stay away from the settlement, just in case. And uh, just move to about there. If you sack settlement and the settlement got the plague, would that help with resetting the plague on the Lord? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That could work. That's a good idea. That could work. Alright, the garrison here has replenished a decent amount. I still don't think it's safe. As much as I want to get this building in here, it's just not safe right now. Could get attacked at any moment. Alright, what do we got? Nah, it's crap. Growth. Yeah, let's grab that. Alright. Alright, let's put down a plague on a settlement. Let's do it to the sunken sewers. Actually, no, do it to Gluckport because it connects with more settlements around here. I want to put down a pox. It'll cost me 50 infections. Yeah, just, just a regular one because we don't have a ton of infections. This will last three turns and give us 25 extra growth per turn. And also, well, actually, it only costs 45 infections because we get five back immediately. But that helps with growth. So I believe you can only do one infection per turn. Is Nurgle the god of diarrhea? Pretty much, yeah. The god of the god of shits. Yeah. CA should have named the uh, the blood pack that's coming whenever. Um, blood shit and tears. Sorry, blood shit and tits. <laughs> blood for corn, shit for Nurgle, and tits for Slanesh. I don't know what you could do for. For, um, for Zinch. Um, Bloodshit, tits, and lies. Uh, Mr. Blonde did a 5 euro super chat. Don't know if you were asked this already, but is the lore of Nurgle any good? And is Kugath any good as a lord? Kugath is very good as a lord, for sure. The lore of Nurgle is okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's very expensive on Winds of Magic. Um, and the damage output on some of the spells is not very armor-piercing. So if we have a quick look at um, Blight Boil, for example... Only 33% of that is actually armor piercing, and it is it is pretty damn expensive. The regeneration spell here is also very bloody expensive. Rancid visitations very expensive. The children of Nurgle is good because that's you know just a casting run, and the stream of corruption is very cheap, but just not much, not much damage. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Because, yeah, I want to get rid of these. Do I want to occupy it, though? I don't know if I want to occupy it. City of Splinters is owned by Korn. Zamotsky is owned by... F by that fucker. Maybe I will actually occupy it. I didn't do it in my last campaign, because this one got blown up by rebels. Korn or something. Yeah, it's going different than the other campaign I did. Alright, they want a non-aggression pact. I, could sense your but I usually like to attack them early. I can't peace out with Clan Hellhine, so we should get rid of them. See, if I go over here and occupy it, that's just going to be extra expenses. I think we just go over there and blow it up. Alright, move it on. Have you tried any of the higher tier Nurgle units, like Beast of Nurgle or the Nurgle Soul Grinder? Uh, th yeah, I did a little bit of them. They seem okay. They just don't have much damage output. The Beast of Nurgle is pretty good because it's got regeneration. Is there a way to cheese healing by cancel casting? No. Mm -mm. Nope. No, they fixed that. I already tried. Black Venom destroyed. I guess that's good. I think I was at war with them. Alright, they're on their way. It doesn't matter that much if they capture some. What are they up to here now? They got nothing. The plague Let's get to there. Church. Oh. I don't know if I'll reach there next turn. Uh, Tony Nussbaum did a two dollars budget. Legley, okay, thanks for the budget, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know why you want me to read that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Look, 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 look. Forget it. I, I need to make sure I reach it next turn. I need to make sure I reach it. Oh, fuck me. They're building defensive walls there. God damn it. Nurgle's not good at that sort of stuff. Like, uh, and there's a grudge thrower too. Yeah, I should be able to handle 12 units. As long as they don't put another army in there, it should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, okay, it looks like we might be safe to build this now. Because at least I can see them coming if they... I mean, they could be standing there, but I'm just, I'm just not sure. Uh, Rocker lifted a $2 super chat. Thanks for the streams. Can Kugath go on foot? No, this is his um, default mount. He doesn't have any other mounts. Yeah, I can't, I can't change his mount options. Alright, let's give him the enchanting shield. And what about this one? I'm pretty sure he does that, but I'll just give it to him anyway. Alright, do we want to infect anything? Mm, nah, I think we're okay. We've only got a hundred. Alright, move on. The Plague Cultist, can it summon demons like the corn one? Yes. So it summons Nurglings for the first three tiers, and then it summons a great unclean one. Nurgle in a nutshell. Nurgle isn't good at X. Yeah, Nurgle does have some pretty severe weaknesses. Do all plagues cause attrition? No. Alright, well, they're not there. Siege Ascendant. That's okay. Early game doesn't matter who's Ascendant, really. So I'm leaning towards just blowing this up. Hang on, let me let me just see here. If I do occupy it, yeah. If I do occupy it, it should be like random rebels that occupy, not not revive a new faction. So it should be fine. Maybe I will occupy it. I'll sack and occupy it. Yeah, that way I get some money. And I'll just because it will give me some infections while I'm holding it. All right. Um, that's a big problem there. All these missile units are a big problem, but we should manage. Um, FNB, FNBF did a $3 super chat. If Marathi had an OnlyFans, would you pay for it? No, dude. Thanks for super chat, but no. Is revolt farming still possible? It's not really ideal. The amount of experience that you get is based on the size of the enemy army that you fight, not just the type of victory. So, if you've got nothing else to do, and your settlements just are unruly, then maybe, but it's not ideal. Also, this settlement type here is kind of difficult to attack with Nurgle. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna split my forces up a little bit. To try to split their forces up. Because if we blob up too much, it's gonna be a problem anyway. Actually, bring, bring these two back. And I'll put the Plague Bearers here. Alright, where's the, the artillery is over there. How defended are they? Pretty defended. Mm, yeah, taking a lot of damage already there. I hate restrict camera so much. Alright, do we Alright, there's nobody there, let's go. And there's nobody here, let's go. Okay, try to get those quarrelers if we can. Let's go. Alright, 
Okay, bring the... Leave those Nurglings there. I'll bring them in in reserve if I absolutely need to. If some of them end up dead, it's fine. Okay, Grudge Thrower's over there. Be, be mindful of that. I don't want to blob up too much. Let's go take it out if we can. No, I want to go for the Quarrelers. Forget about him. Might be any of those Chaos Furies. Uh, Mike Bellinger did a 7 dollars super chat. Do you think CA could make a Dogs of War DLC with the mix between Demons of Chaos and Ogres? Yeah, they could do that, I guess. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Can't say that's working great. Back off there, back off. It's not it's not really going well. No, nah, the Chaos Furies, they're done. Once a unit starts crumbling, it's basically gone. Especially a low tier one like that. Demons crumble so quickly. I might lose both of these units here. Yeah, see, it was gone pretty much straight away. This one's very hard to get out of combat. This is why I don't really like him that much. Um, more of rain did a five dollar super chat. So from what I've seen, all sieges end because army losses. Can you win by capturing objectives? And when would it be worth trying that? It is possible to do that for sure. We did that a fair bit with Corn. With um, Nurgle, it's almost impossible to do that just because you're too slow. So I imagine Slanesh is going to be good at doing that. I think this one here is dead. It's just I can't like they won't get out of there. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Okay, okay, they're going to get out. They're going to get out. At least they kept them distracted for a little bit, but they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Come on, get out of that. Chaos Fury is a no big deal to lose. Alright, how are we going here? Alright, those Quarrelers that were there have moved away. Let's move up. Uh, Living Zombie became a new member. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks for Super Chat. Yeah, God, look how slow they are. But we'll get our Nurglings up to here real soon. No, no, capture that point. Yeah, they're trying to shoot the crap out of Kugath. Let's get him back a bit. He's just suffering a bit there. Hey, you see how much we struggle with this sort of situation? Okay, at least the artillery's not shooting at us. Yeah, assaulting settlements is not Kugath's <laughs> best suit, but you know, do what I can. Good, I'm out of range there. Come on, slow pokes. <laughs> Get fucking moving. Oh man, they're getting wrecked. Boys, get over here. They went back to getting shot at again.
It's all armor piercing as well. This. Um, let's try to do that. Alright, with them running back now, we should be able to get Kugath back in there to do his Mortis Engine effect. Come on, get in here. They haven't started shooting yet. Yeah, Nurglings are getting killed. Come on, over here. This is not particularly useful to us right now. Okay, good. We'll capture this and that'll destroy that tower. The advantage is ours, children. Nurgle weak? It's not that Nurgle's weak, it's yes. that you're just going to take a lot of casualties. You can't it's very difficult to win battles without taking casualties. You know? You're just too slow to outmaneuver the enemy. So you're just gonna take damage. I mean, their faction's designed to take damage. That's just how they work. Mm, I might hit my own units a little bit, but... Because, yeah, it's 100% armor-piercing, that. Which is good. Oh, they left the artillery there. But look at this, look at this. We're going to win by capturing all their points. I've captured all their points. We don't need to inflict the army losses, look. It is one. Excellent. Another point is ours. Watch. And any second now. Any second now. I've captured yeah, there we go. Ooh, good guys took a beating. So I'm just doing that to heal Kugath a little bit. Alright, so the casualties were a couple of units of Nurglings, which I should be able to replace instantly, and the Chaos Furies, which I hate them anyway. Well, part of Nurgle compensates for his weakness, being able to recruit really quickly. You can replace your casualties very quickly. You can, like, you can... Other other factions, right, if you lose your army, it takes you quite a few turns to replace them, but Nurgle can just, like, replace his entire army straight away. How deadly is Agu? Uh, I'll have a look at it. I don't think any of them are particularly deadly on their own. Alright, so two units got wiped out. Not that big of a deal. Alright, and like I said, we want to sack and occupy it. Break this place. Do I want to occupy it? Yeah, I do, because we want the replenishment. If it gets captured again, I don't care. That again. I, I just wanted Helheim to be destroyed. Alright, and then we replace it with Nurglings. Yeah. I could get the Chaos Fury to replace it, but I hate Chaos Furies. And the Nurglings are way cheaper. Yeah, even this unit here is very expensive, but I, I feel like I need something flying. Uh, I just need to use them a bit better. Cool, we got Fetid Stench. Good. Oh, hang on, what are some other things in here? Champion of Decay. Oh, recruit a plague grid in all provinces. That's really good. Yeah, let's get that first and recruit a plague ridden into the army. Okay, so here's some of the, the traits. Yeah, none of them are particularly useful. So you go with that one there. So we already got a um, other wizard in there. Cool. Yep. Alright, so this guy will attach into the army, and I'll just merge some of these Nurglings. So I should... I, yeah, no, that's fine. Alright, cool. Alright, 
Alright, now we've got Cracker Drack coming up this way, so we should probably rush over here to stop it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat that army. Okay. It might be a good idea to save up the growth and... Oh, hang on. Tier... Tier 3... Sorry, yeah, Tier 3 actually requires 3 growth, unlike other factions. Um, it's probably because Nurgle grows very quickly, normally. Um... Alright, let's... Let's upgrade... Glut Port. Yeah, let's upgrade that port there. And just leave this one undefended. It just, um, just... Uh, whoever we're at war with wants to take it, doesn't matter. I just wanted to get rid of those damn dwarfs. Are there chosen Chaos Warriors in Wormen 3? No new chosen. Yeah, there's no new chosen. Just the existing ones in Warriors of Chaos. Alright, there we go. And let's move on. Does Kugath have any legendary items? He does have a legendary item, but it's it's uh, not really that good, I think. So I'm not really going to prioritize it. Mm, yeah, I may actually need to cancel. There's no way I can get there in time. Like, I might be able to defend it. Maybe if I put it... Oh, than ever. Maybe I could try. Potion of Toughness could be good for him. Uh, Stephen Rice in two little super chat. Can you talk about what makes death magic so good? No, I mean I can, but I'm not going to. Save it, save it for later. I'll talk about it another day. But thanks for super chat. Not right now, sorry. Chance of a plague spreading plus fifty percent all armies faction wide. Yeah, I'm gonna go for rotting ways. Okay, we can get back to Stormvrak Mount. So that's where they were. Oh! Do you guys want to see cheese? Oh! Oh! Do I want to... Do no, I don't think I should do this. No, no, don't do it. Is that that's Cromson? He's their faction leader, right? Wazek? Yeah. Oh, there's a cheese that you can do here. Um. Okay, so Glutport. We're probably gonna want to put some units in there. Do it. No, no, you don't understand. This cheese takes ages to do. It takes absolutely ages. Hang on, let me just check. You can lose an unlimited number of times in this battle against them. Um, what you do... Okay, so this is the cheese. You go into the battle, and in this exact situation here, you go into the battle and immediately withdraw, right? And you lose, but because you're going up against a huge amount of force, you actually get a lot of experience. Right? So you just keep doing it over and over again. I can get him leveled up, and then I can just fucking destroy the entire army just with this one dude here. Right. Alright. If we do... Oh, okay. Get this one here, it'll ground us. And because because this one here has regeneration, uh, we go in... Okay. It'll level up their leader, but dwarfs leveling up is not that big of a deal. And we'll probably level up more than him. As soon as I can... Um, oh, that'll be difficult with the guns there. If you, use, if you use Rancid Visitations, I think it's called, you can snipe him. So yeah... I'll explain exactly how this cheese works, alright? Um, you can lose an unlimited number of times in this situation here, 
provided your army doesn't get wiped out. You just have to withdraw, right? So every time you lose, you're going to gain loads of experience. Now, in this exact situation, it's where... The, and the enemy does this a lot, especially if you've got a port settlement. If they're, if they're parked so close to your settlement, but they're still out in the water, and you attack them, right? You can attack them and lose, but... Be, and... and if your army is sitting inside your settlement, it doesn't matter how many times you lose, it won't actually be killed off. So yeah, let this one regenerate a little bit. Game's not even out. Cheese already been found. No, this is a Warhammer 2 cheese. This works in Warhammer 1 and 2. So what I'm doing here is I'm just letting the Beast of Nurgle regenerate. Wonder how quickly you get the poor attacker trait. Yeah, it'll happen pretty quickly, but here's here's the thing, guys. We're gonna get ourselves a great unclean one. Ah, oh, sorry, an exalted because this guy here at rank 17 will become an exalted great unclean one. <laughs> and then his negative trait is removed. Blood Reaper Z did a five pound super chat. Are we gonna see some cheese on Legend Total War stream? As if there's any other answer. Cheese is the cheese god. Alright, thanks to Super Chat, dude. Yeah, we're gonna get an exalted. I'm gonna turn this guy. Like, he won't be able to do it this turn, but next turn, he'll transform into an exalted, um, great unclean one. Linkadion did a 5 euro super chat. Do Nurgles have a weakness to fire? Not, not naturally, but regenerating units have weakness to fire in general. Uh, Kyle P did a 20 pound super chat. Just joined the stream, but hope you're enjoying Nurgle. Um, it's probably going to be my first campaign. Yeah, thanks, dude. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, thanks, super chat. Who is the best fat boy? Kugath, Grom, Greasus, Throt, or Throg? Mm, I'm going to say Throt. So yeah, I'm just letting that one regen. Yeah, so this is the... This is a beast of Nurgle here. Obviously, I won't need to do this in every battle. I'm just, just getting him his health up. What does the Lord trade of plus 15% mass mean? I think it was Festering Lord that has the trade. Okay, so you can actually see how much mass a unit has. So this one here has 1,380 mass. The mass is how much pushing power it has. So anything lower than that mass, it can push out of the way, more or less. You know, obviously something that's close to it's not going to have an easy time pushing. So the more mass it has, the more it can push other units out of the way. I say, is it done healing? Yep, it's done healing. Okay, so now... <laughs> okay, now, that was the slow part. Now we just keep doing it. Now, if you're going to do this, it's not great to do it with faction leaders, but it's okay if they're dwarfs, because even if you go up against a level 50 dwarf lord, they don't really get that much better. Okay, so we should be able to get almost a level up every single time we fight them. And they won't be getting that much experience because I'm only sending such a small force at them. Why are the enemies not attacking? Because I was the attacker. They have the advantage. The the AI, just like in Warhammer 2, if they feel like they have the advantage, they'll wait for you to come to them. I had no missile units, so they're going to wait for me. Where can you see how much you can regen a unit? They remove the regen cap. No, the regen cap is there. You just can't see how much it is. So I got 2,000 experience. You can't see how much it is until um, until they're approaching their regen cap. So they kind of worsen the UI in that regard. All right. Well, we don't need Root Marcher. Um, yeah, let's... Okay, so... Yeah, he gained experience as well. But let's... I've got, I've got more experience than him now. <laughs> This is how you cheese experience in Warhammer 3. This is actually way more effective than in Warhammer 2, because in Warhammer 2, like a decisive defeat, you need to get like 10 decisive defeat, defeats to level up. But in this, if the army is big enough, one decisive defeat will level up completely. Like we nearly gained two levels up from that. Why didn't you do damage? I, c I can't get close. They've got missile units and I don't, I don't have any magic that can do any damage yet. We're, we're only level one.
So like I said, because we're a garrison inside the settlements, we we can just keep doing this. This is so dumb. <laughs> Connor, that guy did a five dollar super jet cheese for the cheese god. Yeah, this is this is a very cheesy cheese, very cheesy cheese. Is experience gained affected at all by the tier of the units you're fighting? Yeah, yeah. So the stronger the enemy army and the more numerous they are, the more experience that you get. So later in the campaign, when you're fighting, if you go up against a doom stack, it's worth more experience for you. But if I do this, it means that I don't need to... Yeah, there we go, another 2,000 experience. Oh, no! Thing is, when he becomes a great unclean one, this trait is removed. So, I'm at rank 4, and he's still at rank 2! <laughs> yeah. I probably should have waited before putting this guy in there, because that actually gives him more experience every time we beat him. This is how you power level up lords. We could get him to rank 50 if we really want to. Is it always 2,000 experience? No, the amount of experience is determined by how strong the army is. So if I go in there and damage them, I'll get less and less experience. So it's in our best interest if we want to just power level up. Keep them nice and strong. Uh, it would be better to snipe their lord because he's he's their faction leader. But honestly, dwarf lords high level, they don't... Like, he's not a spellcaster. He's not going to be that effective. Can you make sure you record all new cheeses and exploits in case they get patched? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hope you like loading screen, boys. Yeah, but we're gaining, like, more than a full level up every time we do this. Is 50 the new level cap? Yeah. 10k viewers watching cheese. That's usually how it goes. Um, does Nurgle Hero got Cunning Trait try to bypass slowness and am with ambushes? Uh, I think they get cunning. I think they get cunning. This cheese is amazing. Yeah, it's more powerful in this than it was in Warhammer 2. Because in Warhammer 2, like if I was doing this in Warhammer 2, I'd still be at rank 2. And now we're at rank 5. Yeah! <laughs> Is it weird they didn't patch this? No, because it's rare for this opportunity to show up. It just happens a lot in this particular campaign. There's only like 20 port settlements in the entirety of Warhammer 3, so this is rare. It only works at ports. Didn't you praise Medieval 2 for having Arsh Order Resolves? Yes, but in Medieval 2 you can fight battles in 5 seconds. The battles are very quick. Um... And the 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 or, sorry the order resolves in medieval two are far less punishing than in this. There definitely should be some degree of you should fight battles manually if it's like a big sized battle, right? Even if you do have a bit of an advantage. Problem is with Warhammer three, is that even if you have a massive advantage, you still have to fight the battle manually. Does this kind of break the game? You become two OP or still fine? Oh no, it's not going to break the game. Getting one great unclean one, I'm not going to be able to keep him active anyway, because we don't have the money for him. What level does the Lord have to be exalted? Okay, we have to get him to rank 15. So, at rank 15, on the next turn, he becomes an exalted um, thing, and he loses 8 levels. So, if we were at rank 20, he'll become rank 12. If he's at rank 15, he'll be rank 7. Oh, I should have gotten that, because that's good for sniping the Lord. So, this dude here is at rank 4. We're power leveling him up, but we're leveling up faster. Matthias LH did a 20 SEK Super Chat. This is Rockfort, level of Stinky Cheese. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate Super Chat. Now, the problem with that particular spell, like going up there and casting it, yeah, the problem with it is um, I won't be able to get close because of the guns. I just wouldn't be able to get close. And because guns are basically impossible to dodge with what we've got here... Um, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Not yet, anyway. Um, Jan J did a 25 plan in chat. Should you invest in the XP points, you make yourself stronger, so give the dwarves more XP? 
Uh, I didn't even think about that. Um, you're probably right. It doesn't. It doesn't matter that much. Matt Lee Evans did a five dollar super chat. Stank for the stank guide. Cheese for the cheese friend. All right, thanks for super chat. I appreciate it. Um, you big Doctor Slippy Fist did a ten dollar super chat. This is good at cheese. That Lord is going to be a monster. Thanks for super chat. Yeah, yeah. This guy's going to be higher level up than than uh, Kugaf soon. Do uh, Doctor Bo, Doctor Bo did a hundred CZK super chat. Cheers from. Check yeah, dude. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks to the chat. Weird way to write it. Couldn't you sneak up on them via the forest? Mm, it's only got a hundred range on that spell. I'd, I'd never get there. I miss your super chat. All right, sorry, dude, but there was a lot going on. Uh, Sneederino, Game Breaker Reno did a five pence of jet. Who would win? The entire Legion of Elite Dawi armed on the beards of one stinky boy with his pet slug going on infinite week walks to get buff. Alright, thank you, Super Chat, dude. Um, Mom Chill did love today, BGN5 Super Chat. Love listening to your streams without watching because you are so funny when you talk shit and stuff. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Have you figured out Doomstack for any races yet? Well, it's pretty obvious what the Doomstacks are. It's like they're, they're maxed out demon. Um, but Doomstacks are not as effective in Warhammer 3 as they are as they were in Warhammer 2. They, you just don't need them. So once we've got a Rot Fly, um... Maybe I could get in and get some rancid visitations down. Maybe. Um, Blight Boil. See, that's got 200 range, but doesn't do that much armor piercing. Um, once we can heal, that'll help as well. Just because it would be good to snipe him so that he stops getting experience, but the problem here is like getting past those thunderers. I should have put two points into that, but it doesn't really matter that much. All right, get uh, evasion. You're going to need that speed when the time comes. Stephen Richardson did a $5 super chat. Do you enjoy sharp cheese? Yep, sure. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Why do you wait for both units to reach edge of the map before withdrawing? Because we're demons, right? If if I withdraw one unit off the battlefield and then causes the army losses and disintegrates the other dude, then he'll die. So you need to get them both off at the same time. When playing vampire accounts and demons... Um, if you're going to withdraw, you need to make sure everybody withdraws at the exact same time. Or else they'll die, because they don't route. Can't you use Curse of the Leper to deal with guns? I'll have a look at Curse of the Leper. I'll have a look. Reddit will be crying about this within minutes. Who cares? Reddit's always crying about stuff. Just if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Yeah, you don't. You totally don't, don't have to. Does upgrading to Great Unclean One remove the positive trait as well? Yeah, it'll remove. It'll remove um their pos. It's a new character. He doesn't get upgraded. He gets replaced. So we'll get a different uh, trait. This will be removed, this will be removed. Any of the items will be kept. It's Curse of the Leper. No, that's melee damage reflection. That doesn't that doesn't reflect bullets back at them. Inter interesting thought, but yeah. It, so, yeah, that's melee damage reflection. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from with that, though. Alright, let's get... Um, Honestly, Blight Boil against the um, the Dwarfs is not that useful. What we want is Locus of Contagion. That'll kill off the army. Won't this give you Confident Attacker trait on red? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If he becomes the Great Unclean one, it, it gets wiped clean. It doesn't matter. This trait just doesn't matter at all. Does the rank up for the units work the same? Uh, I mean, this guy here is actually gaining some experience, but they're not. I don't know why. What about the Lord Defeat traits today? Yeah, yeah, it's an entirely new character, so don't bother, like... If you're playing a demon character, don't bother trying to get... Um, Legendary Lord defeat traits until they become an exalted one because it, it it essentially kills the character when that happens 
to get an exalted one. Does the level of the Herald decrease the amount of experience you receive? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're getting the same amount each time. So you don't trait farm these lords? Not, not with heralds. Kugath can't get exalted, right? He is an exalted. Yeah, it's the same amount of experience. So rank nine. Cool. We're almost in a position where we can try to snipe their lord. Compared to ME, where do you play right now? Oh, actually, you know what? Trying to snipe the lord is not going to matter. Um, because the moment we try to snipe the lord, we'll be able to finish off the entire army. Will he keep his mount when he upgrades? No, excuse me, because he becomes a great unclean one. That's an entirely different type of lord, like the big fat dude. So when he loses his levels after becoming a greater demon, will he lose all the spells or just some of them? He, he, it's, it's, it's an entirely new character and you lose eight levels. So you have to respec your lord. Look, it'll happen and you'll see. You'll, you'll see what happens. It's going to happen, I'm pretty sure. The cultists don't get the dilemma to turn into a higher tier unit, right? No, no, this, this is a lord. Cultists are heroes. So the hero, um, one of those, they don't upgrade to um, like a greater demon. Only the lord variant does. Are you able to respec once you become a great unclean one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be respec. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever points I put it into here doesn't really matter that much. We're just putting points in here to ensure that we we uh, win the battle. Get him to rank 15 and then win the battle. Should you give this army a plague, it may spread to the Darwi. Oh, that's a pretty good idea, actually. Alright, let's have a look. Weeping eyes. All right, let's go with. Let's see. What's what base should we use? All right, let's go with this one here, because that could be useful. And then we'll try and see if we can spread weeping eyes onto them. That's a great, that's a good idea, dude. Good thinking. <laughs> that's really good thinking. Because we'll probably get 100 infections when we decide to win the battle. Does the slime trail of the beast have a gameplay effect, or is it just optics? It's just optics. So this is not a no-defeat campaign? No, <laughs> it's too late for that. They're not real defeats, though. So many defeats will not lead to a bad feature of the Lord. Doesn't matter. This Lord is going to die next turn. He's going to be replaced. All of his traits will be wiped clean. Okay? There is... The only downside to what I'm doing right now is that the Dwarf uh, faction leader is going to be leveled up, which I don't really care about. Because Dwarfs don't level up that well anyway. And, um, it'll just be bad in terms of my statistics. Cyrus Bale did a fireball super jet. Isn't the charge to a greater demon going to happen next turn? The dwarfs are going to land and kill your lord and take the city during the end turn, right? No, no, no. I'm going to kill the entire army with this dude. I'm going to kill their entire army with this dude. You watch. I just got to level up first. Delmar did a five dollar super chat. If your new exalted demon dies, are you gonna just kind of boned or are they immortal? Also, would you recommend greater demon cheese for all or only Nurgle? Um, 
I think Greater Demons are, are better all around. Um, and yeah, they don't start off Im immortal, so they can be killed. Yeah, look at that, it's spread! It's spread. I wonder if we can spread it again. I wonder if we can spread it again to add on more turns and get more infections back. Let's see. Yeah, whoever whoever suggested that in the chat, good, really good thinking. This is, imagine that could be a great way to just get more infections. When will you cover Cinch? Mm, we'll see. Like I really enjoyed Cinch, but that's not what you guys voted for. Let's see if it adds on time to it. Because, like, every time we infect them again, we we get some stuff back. So it can spread multiple times. I think you can add turns to it. So it was at three turns. Let's see if we can add more turns to it. Let's see. Army receives plague. Okay, I definitely got some infections, I think. But it's sp it spread back to me. We didn't add extra time on that. Yeah, we didn't add extra time on that. Alright, I could get the rot fly now, but... Actually, yeah, we don't really need arcane conduit. I don't really need it. Um, getting this is critical, but plus we need to get him to rank, um, oh no, 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 we should do that, we should do that later, because that'll give them more experience, yeah, 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 get bloated corpse, you're gonna need that. One and only Droog did a $5 super chat, uh, so does every Chaos God have something akin to the Nurgle Cauldron, excited for this Lanesh dungeon? Uh, yep. Okay, so Corn has the blood host mechanic and bloodletting. Cinch has changing of ways. Changing of ways is very powerful. I can talk about it now. Um, yeah, the changing of ways. You can basically just manipulate things to crazy extents with changing of ways. And also, Cinch can manipulate the winds of magic in provinces that they have a settlement in. So you can either strip a region of all of its magic and transfer it elsewhere. Where you actually need it. Yeah. I think Cinch's mechanics are very, very powerful. Hey, we hit 10,000 viewers. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, do you have a total time limit to this week? Yes, I do have a time limit. I can't play unlimited amount of time. Yeah. Is the Exalted Unclean one strong enough to take down the whole army? No. No. Um, actually, the Exalted un Great Unclean one would struggle to take out the entire army. They're better overall, but what we're doing is using this guy. I pro uh, If all goes well, this guy here will kill this entire army this turn. If all goes well. But I have to level him up uh, enough first. Okay. Alright, I think this time, don't put the point in. Just wait until next turn. Or not next turn, next battle. Oh, look, we gained more infections. Okay, I don't think it's adding more time in, but we're getting our infections back. <laughs> Which also means that we're increasing the counter, unlocking other infections. Uh, 100 rubles super chat, Dormammu and Doctor Strange, Warhammer 3 version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is actually really good because we're unlocking the other symptoms every time we fight a battle. We spread it twice, it seems. You just got 10 infection points now. Yeah, that means it, that it spread twice. It just reset It reset the penalty. It didn't actually um, add extra time on. Oh. 
Oh, I just realized. I should have added the symptom for extra money. Every single time I lose, I can make 150 gold. No, I can make 300 gold. But I'm gonna need 150 infections to do that. It's, oh, it's too late now. Oh my god, this is so powerful for, for Cougar. <laughs> each battle you gain 10 infections, it means you spread it on each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have done the money symptom as well, because we could have done two. But it, it, I can't do it again this turn. If I had done this one, I could have gotten 300 favor every time we lose. Just making so much money from being defeated. I don't think I had enough infections, though. I don't think I had enough. Alright, we have... Okay, so now... Um, I don't want to put the points in just yet, or else we're just going to keep giving him more experience. Like, he's rank 8. I'm I'm gaining level faster than him. <laughs> this guy's recruited this turn. We have to get him to rank 15 before we fight the battle properly. So we use Locus of Contagion and a Rot Fly. Yeah. Then the first thing we got to do is get rid of the Thunderers. And then when they're all just melee units, he can't do anything about it. Are there any more symptoms which are beneficial for this situation? Yeah, there probably would be, but I haven't got them unlocked. I can't do another plague this turn. You had enough? You had like 153? Ah, oh, damn. Oh, well, I should have done that. I could have made bank on this. Overcharged Egg did a 5 pound super chat. Looks like cheese is back on the menu, boy. Yeah, this is stinky green cheese. It smells like shit. Yeah. How is it you can fight so many battles? I thought you lost your movements if you lost the battle. There is an exception. If you are sitting inside of a settlement, attacking a army that is out in the water, but right outside your settlement, you can keep fighting it over and over and over again. So it's a rare exception. You can't, like if they stand, if they besiege you, you can't keep doing this. Because armies that are garrisoned are protected against being wiped out when they lose. Doesn't matter how many times they lose, even if they're on force march. Mr. Blonde did a 5 euro super chat. Theoretically, you could replace the Lord at level 15 and level up a new Lord to level 15 and get two exalted ones in the same turn. Uh, yeah, you could, but that would take a long time, and I, honestly, I'm not going to do that. You, you could do that. Uh, Blood Reaper did a 5 pen super chat. Do all greater demons include the Lord variants? Get Siege Attacker, so your upgraded Exalted Lord can instant siege in future. Yes, that is correct. All of the greater demons get, um, sorry, all of the Exalted demons get, um, Siege Attacker. Okay, rank 13. We just got to get two more levels up. Oh, I didn't get infections that time. Just see how you see in this. Is he here? No, I don't think he's here. If you make this one immortal, does it come back after it died for the exalted version? I don't think so, no. No, I don't think so. Uh, do they go back seven levels when they turn into Great Unclean One, or they just get set to level eight? No, 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 they lose eight levels. They lose eight levels. So if you if it was at rank twenty, he'll he'll be reverted to rank twelve. If you tagged a new lord, could you do the money plague too? I can't do another plague now. You can only do it one per turn. That's the problem. I had to do it when I was making the plague. I didn't think to do it. Uh, Martin Gorto did a five year super chat. What's the most fun faction for map painting in Warhammer 2? I'd like to finally complete one before Warhammer 3 releases. Uh, Clan Scryer. Yeah, or, um, or Lothurn, or Nagareth. One of those. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. I didn't get any more infections. Seems to have stopped. Yeah, look, we've we've got the brain fog now. Yeah, see, I can't I can't do it again this turn. So we've 
We're up to 14. Right. Alright, I just gotta level up one more time. Although, when he wins, he will definitely gain a level up. Okay. Let's actually make the attack now properly. It might take a couple of attempts, but this time we're actually going to try and fight it. Okay, so we need that. And we get one more point. Um, I don't need Light Boil. I don't need Arcane Conduit. Um... Rancid Visitations. No, I don't need it. Um... What's the range on that? 100 meters, okay. Alright. Well, these guys here only have 131 range. Okay, these are the units that I need to target first. That can't do anything to me. Once we get rid of their missile units, if we can manage to do it in this battle, great. If not, no big deal. But once we get rid of their missile units, um, then they c they can't win. Magical reserves? No, it doesn't provide instant magical reserves. This guy isn't going to survive. It's just it's not going to do anything. So magical reserves now increases the rate of it. Uh, not the actual. It yeah, it doesn't provide an instant benefit. In fact, I would say that magical reserves, for most part, is not actually a good ability. All right, now we now we fight. So what I want to do to begin with is just generate some winds of magic. So just be patient here. Now I'm going to use stream of corruption to try to get rid of the missile units because it does 100% armor piercing. It's actually pretty good against dwarfs. And if we take damage, we can use fleshy abundance. Once we take out those missile units, we can fly over and do Locus of Contagion, which I can do unlimited amount of times just using patience, and we will eventually kill them. John Jones did a 5 dollar super chat. It costs 100 for another plague. It might be why you can't do it in two in a turn, but I'm not the one playing. No, no, no. You cannot do two plagues in a turn, even if you've got the money, uh, the, the infections. Thanks for super chat. Is there a certain level action that allows a herald to upgrade to exalt a demon? Yeah, rank 15. I thought it was level 17, not 15, 14. No, no, it happens at, It happens minimum rank 15. So if somebody else did that in another stream, it's just that they must have skipped rank 15 and 16 and went straight to 17. If we win this battle here, we'll probably go straight to rank six or 16 or 17. Okay, I'm just generating some wins of magic here. Jacob P did a 50 CZK super chat. Can you disband Lord and do this cheese again with new one? Yeah, I could. I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, Dennis the Caveman did a 5 euro super chat. Thank you for this exquisite green excrement cheese. You're my favorite dairy expert. Here's a small token of appreciation for your noble craft. Alright, thanks. We appreciate the super chat. Alright, so I think they only hit us once there. Alright, now... We've got to try to get rid of the guns specifically, because I can always dodge those other ones. Alright, that's the crossbow one there. Best, best way to do that is while they're moving around. Yeah, just keep that one hidden. So we fly around. Oh, are you tired? No, you're okay. I mean, they've got reduced accuracy, but this guy here is not exactly very good at dodging. Okay, that might do something. Okay, it's a start. It's a bit of damage. To start. Okay, let's go over to this flank over here and pop this down. Try to get them to blob up as much as possible as well. Yeah, just gotta try and stay out of stay out of their range a little bit. Are the battle for notification less annoying in the new face now? Yes, it's much improved in that regard. Alright. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough magic to get rid of all the Thunderers, but I'll see what I can do. Because it's really long, I can sort of sort of extend its range a little bit. The miners can't do anything to me. We haven't gotten any kills yet, <laughs> which <laughs> means if we withdraw from the battlefield, we've done nothing. So we gotta get some kills, if we are gonna withdraw. Yeah, watch out for those fucking guns. Shit, my bitch here. Shit. Ah, oh, we're okay. We're okay. So he's got he's got a fair bit of missile resistance against them. Keep them blobbed up. Okay, we got some kills. Finally got some kills. That's a start. Can use that as many times as I want, and now's a good time for that. Cool, they were kind of blobbed up, that's good. Why do you not use the breast spell from the side to hit more units? I have to get closer to that. I've only got a hundred range, so this is the only way I can do it without getting in range of their shots. I'm trying not to get shot, basically. But you are right, that would be better, but I, I just, um... I can't get in too close. Those are those are guns. They'll shoot me down really quickly. Watch out or else the, uh, the Beast of Nurgle is going to get detected. Uh, maybe just get him to run out this way. He does not hide in the forest. No Blight Pot? Blight Pot? No, Blight Boil. No, 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 no. They, they dodge it. It takes too long to cast. Also, it doesn't do much armor piercing. And it's also really expensive. So we're getting them. We've got to be patient. I only need my magic for this. Um, Suv Red Jester did a fireball subject. Awesome Greetings from Red... Red... Radelaide. Oh, Adelaide, right. Um, I'm lactose intolerant, so this is the only cheese I get to enjoy. Haha. <laughs> Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Never heard it being called Radelaide before. So yeah, we're, we're getting them, just a little bit. Alright, because they're blobbed up... Because they're blobbed up, this might work. If I run at them right now... This, this is a bit risky. It's a bit risky. We're okay so far. We're okay so far. Come on, zigzag. Zigzag. Oh, yeah. Right on top of him there. I don't think that cast was very good. But that one there is doing some damage on them. Could use Blight Boil, but it's not cost effective in this situation here. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. They're actually, because they're blobbed up like that, they're kind of obstructed. Yeah! Get rid of those missiles and we win. Just keep them, keep them standing still there. Keep them shooting at us, because they're they're obstructed. When you've got multiple missile units sitting on top of each other, they can't fire properly. Beast of Nova got spotted. 
Thanks, dude. Yeah, it, yeah, it's faster than them though, so it'll be okay. about to pop this down. This should finish them off. Oh, taking damage. Oh, so close. They've only got a handful of them left now. I don't think they've got enough ammunition to kill us now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a good one. We've essentially got him. Ooh, do not land. This will finish him off. There we go. No more missile units. Okay, and now all I have to do is fly over them and uh, pop this down. Now it's just a matter of patience. That's all. Just a matter of when, not if. Because they can't catch this dude. And they can't shoot me. Looks like Wormer 1 music made it in. Oh yeah, yeah, all the old assets are still going to be in. For sure. Does that do much damage? No, not much. But we don't need to kill him. Right. Surely it'd be easier just to play with the proper army. Uh, yeah, if I could have had an army here, I didn't have an army in this area. Oh shit, I'm gonna get caught by this guy if we're not careful. Alright, so, we've got 1,420 of them to kill. Well, actually, no. It, the army losses will be inflicted well before then. Well before then. Just try to get them to blob up as much as possible so that we can put this down. But they, they tend not to blob up that much these days. Wouldn't it be faster to withdraw, regen magic, and do it again? Um, yes, but that would give that guy another victory, and... I don't know if that would be that much faster because really this is the one that does all the damage to them why not retreat the one on foot because then I'll take the um, I'll, I haven't I've got a flying unit well um, he has to land if he if this one dis this this unit is to tether us to the ground so we actually need it Winds of Magic spent? Yeah, I have no more recharge rate. So, I could cast... Oh, hang on, I got one more of these. Mine as well. That'll give us a tiny bit of regen. Alright, once the bounce of power hits about the middle, that's probably when the army losses will get inflicted. Could Beast of Nurgle be a good Doomstack or straight unclean ones? Uh, I don't know about either, to be honest. I just, I don't think that either of them are a good idea for a Doomstack. But I'll test it out at some point. Dwarfs on Force March, they'll be gone if you win. Yeah, yeah, if we win, they'll be gone. That's exactly right. They'll get wiped out. Yeah, we've. It's just a matter of when, not if.
Won't they flee and move the army away? No, they're on force march. If they lose, they get wiped out. Would have been good if we had a um, channeling staff. It would uh, reduce the time on that. Yeah, now's a good time to ask me questions because obviously I'm not really concentrating on the battle that much. I don't need to. Retreat use magic? No, no. None of our magic's that good against it. We don't have that much reserves. This is fine. And we got a good thing going here at the moment. There's quite a few units, like, blobbed up. There's no guarantee that would happen next time. No new music? Yeah, there's new music, but uh, not for the old races. Can the pox fly swoop? No. Nah, no, nah, I've tried that. They're not good at swooping. Uh, Shalax at a five pound super chat. Unrelated to the game itself. If you dedicated yourself to any chaos goal, which would it be? Cinch. Uh, Death Razor did a five dollar super chat. Sorry if I missed, but you seem to never use the demon army ability. Is there a reason for that? Or you're just not used to it yet. Um, this ability here sucks. That's why I never use it. It just, it just doesn't do anything that I need them to do. It just reduces their speed. I just... That, that one there sucks. So when we start getting the other army abilities, I'll use them. But yeah, that one just... It's just, it's just fucking useless in most situations. Do you actually lose 8 levels when you level up to Greater Demon, or you just get to a level 7 one? You lose 8 levels. You don't you don't go straight to level 7, you lose 8 levels on them. So they retain some of their experience. Okay, so looking at this now, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of at least half of them, at the very least, to cause the army losses. How much barrier points can Kairos have? The most I've gotten to him was 1919 so far. Uh, Muru Lowen did a $2 super chat. Is Limburger cheese the spirit cheese of Nurgle? I don't know. Thank you, super chat. Appreciate it. Does leaving the stream on mute in another tab help you if at all? Um, I don't think so. So don't worry about that. Can you take Kugath off his chair? No. No, you can't take him off his chair. He has diabetes. He can't walk anymore. <laughs> Good. They, they keep putting units on top of here. When can I talk about Kislev? I think Kislev is the next embargo. Yeah, so that would be the 3rd of Feb. Which is the weakest Chaos faction? I think the Demons of Chaos. Chaos Undivided, I think that's the weakest. When can you talk about ogres? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about ogres. Uh, I think 10th? Or maybe maybe that one's the third as well. I'm not sure. Can a great unclean one fly? No. 
No, only bloodthirsters and lords of change can fly. Can you show the plague ridden's feet? This one. Oh, fuck, if I can look at it. Oh, it keeps. <laughs> it disappears when I zoom into him. Yeah, oh, fucking hell. No, it won't let me. It keeps it keeps uh disappearing. Do you know if there will be pre-download? I don't know for certain, but that's always been the case with Creative Assembly, so I think it's a safe assumption. Yeah, this was a very cheesy battle. We've we've almost won. We're almost there. We've gotten rid of more than half of them. And the artillery and gunners were probably worth the most balance of power, so getting rid of them was worth more than, you know, dwarf warriors or miners. Uh, Death Razor did a five dollar super chat. Uh, do you know the quest items for the levels required? to trigger each. I haven't seen anyone get one for the dragons. They don't have a quest battle for, for dragons. Uh, they don't have one. They get their, they get special items when they go to various locations with caravans. But yeah, they don't have quest items. Thanks for Super Chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, so for example, um, if you're playing as either Cathayan faction and you send a caravan to Drakenhof, you get a Drakenhof blade. And that blade um, is like a purple item. There's various purple items that you get from caravans. So that's that's their quest battles, essentially. The jogger was hidden. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Actually, this is probably good if they can if they can run like this. I could probably get a bigger blob going. Yeah, this this could actually be good. See, look, there's loads of them there. It's okay, he regens. Yeah, this is way better. Look, I'm getting getting a bunch of them there. But he's getting hurt. Oh, what the fuck? How the hell did dwarfs catch up to him? This way, this way. He's got slime trail as well. They should be they should be slow. Oh, it's probably because he's in the woods. Yeah, I gotta keep him out of the woods. He'll regen, he's fine. Uh, Skellum did a $5 super chat. Ogre's my legend. Would you say that these British nomads are as strong as they are stupid? Um, no, I'd say they're more stupid than they are strong. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. They're pretty stupid. Uh, Crazybird742 did a $5 super chat. I may have missed it already, but are all the Chaos Gods off embargo then? No, we can't talk about Slanesh yet. Calv did a two euro super chat. Do you think Chaos Invasion ME will change in Wormen 3? No, I don't feel like they're going to change that. Thank you, super chat. Appreciate it. Maybe you should recover your fatigue since they're not really chasing you now. If I get him back over here, he might actually go back to being hidden. Okay, bounce of power is even. It'll probably say victories in our grasp in the next one or two of these locusts and contagion. Is there any regiment of renown? No, regiment of renown is has never been in at the launch of a game. They'll come with the first lord packs. So probably expect them three months from now. If I had to guess, I would say that Kislev and Corn will get the first lord pack. Now that's just a pure guess. I reckon Valkyrie the Bloody will be one of the first lords introduced. Because I think she's a really popular pick. And you know, Corn needs, needs a bit of a rework already. <laughs> Not really. Imagine 19 Heralds of Nurgle with his ability. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could do that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, that would that would be disgusting. But of course, you got to get him to blob up. But yeah, that could work. How strong is Nurgle compared to Sinch and Corn? He's weaker than both of them, in my opinion. Corn is the strongest, then Sinch. I haven't played Slanesh yet, but of the three Chaos Gods that I've played, Nurgle is the weakest. But then again, I don't value defensive play anywhere near as much as aggressive play, so other players might look at uh, Nurgle and find it really enticing because it suits their playstyle. It just doesn't suit mine particularly. Because I, I don't I don't like sitting around being defensive for ages. Do you think Hobgoblins will be a separate faction or a green skin skin DLC? Um I have no idea. Like it, they may not even introduce that to be honest. I, I just don't know. Didn't they say no more Lord Packs? I thought they were going to do different DLC types now. Oh, I have no idea. I don't know what, what Creative Assembly is doing. What, so that means there's no more Lords coming in the game at all? I doubt it. I, yeah, there'll be more Legendary Lords. They'll just rework the way that they're doing Lord Packs. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe instead of, like, 1v1... Lords, maybe they'll have a lord pack that's like f one lord for each race. Maybe I, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're doing. All right, the bouncer power is in our favor now. Um, I don't think this guy here could actually beat a dwarf warrior in melee. He's got. I actually have no idea how much regen he's got. Uh, Wolf's Paul did a 5 euro super chat. I think you'll make a how to start with Kugath video with this strategy and Kugath at the harbor. Um, okay. Thank you, super chat, dude. Um, okay. They have to give us a vampire queen? Yeah, yeah. That seems like something that they're going to do. How many are left? Essentially, four units remain. Surely can't be much longer now. Oh, I didn't hit this one. Gotta get a bit closer. Okay, he's fresh now. Um, we'll see if this one here can do a bit, but it is on very hard battle difficulty, so, uh, you know, dwarves have always been a bit of a pain. But... Yeah, the problem is the melee attack is not going to break through their melee defense. Oh, not necessarily. They've only got 30. We'll see. Let's see. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Uh, Blood Reaper Z did a 5 pence image. Hey, Legend, do you think uh, Warriors of Chaos should redone to include Mortals of Chaos from each god? No problem if you can't talk about that. Um, I don't think that should be the case. I don't think that'll really make any real significant difference. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that matters. Thank you, Super Chat, though. Death Razor did a 5 Super Chat. Cinch is king. Can't wait to see you play him. A few others are showing today, but none compared to your ways. All right, no worries, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, the Beast of Nurgle seems to be doing alright here. Yeah, music stopped for some reason. Okay, now that he's surrounded, he's, he's actually losing. Charge back in. Get that sweet 18 charge. Oh, there we go. We won. <laughs> I told you we'd win. Do lords gain mass on mounts? I'm pretty sure, yeah, uh, mass is, was increased. 1.3 thousand kills on him. Yeah. I recruited... Uh, I cr this. These were both recruited this turn. Zinsa Blue did a 50... Uh, dollar Super Chat. Hey, Legend, your live streams are fantastic. Thanks for the fun, uh, helpful tips. Much appreciated. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Told you we'd win. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got three times as much experience as what I was get from losing. I was hoping for something better than that. Oh, I only get one infection? Oh, well, I'll take the money then. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Alright, now he has to remain on the campaign map here if we want an exalted um, demon of Zinch. Uh, Zinch. Exalted, um, exalted Great Unclean One. Alright, he's rank 16, which means we'll get the Great Unclean One. Exalted Great Unclean One at rank 8. It doesn't matter what we put points into. Th this this will be removed and we'll get a new trait. Um, items don't matter. You can leave that on him. No, he'll keep the items. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, just put it onto whatever. Just, it just doesn't matter. Just... All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So sunken sewers. Let's have a look. So we've already got the getting control can be useful as well. This will give us more nurglings. But at the same time, it would be good to get this going, just because it provides a lot of income. You know, at this level here. But this also provides garrison where the other one doesn't. This one here provides replenishment rate, which we don't really need. Uh, and also provides... Yeah, all of this is Nurglings. This one here s reduces cycle time a little bit for basic military buildings. Attrition minus 15% when under siege is pretty decent. Yeah, if it was going to come under siege. Um, I reckon I reckon that would be the way to go. Okay, and we've got a little bit of growth. So let's upgrade Darko Wharf. That's the... Yeah, we'll see. Alright, well, since our finances aren't great, um, I don't expect Krakadrak to be coming back anytime soon. This guy did a great job, but it's time for him to go, go. Or I could, I could actually put him into uh, Kugat's army, I guess. How did this guy get any movement? He was recruited this turn. March, march, march. Yeah, I might transfer the Beast of Nurgle into um, Kugat's army. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, if we're going to do that, what should we get rid of? The rot flies. Hang on. What's the upkeep cost on that? The beast of Nurgle's cheaper. And what's the uh, the thing that does? Yeah, the slime trail. That's a good debuff for the enemy. So if it stays okay. Um, rot flies are three hundred. The sorry, plague drones. Their finances fucking suck. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay. Okay. And don't worry about that province. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, we gotta finish off these guys here now. Let's move on. Don't get rid of the Beast of Nurgle. He's too happy and joyful to be thrown away. Yeah, well, I can't replace it. That's the only reason why I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so, you know in Warhammer 2, when you win a battle, you get like a thousand experience. This will be worth next to nothing. Say, 383 experience. The only benefit of fighting a battle like that, over and over again, is just to get equipment. Garrett became a new member? Alright, thanks, do appreciate it. Take him off the rock fly him out for money? I can't, because I put him on at this turn. Yeah. Need the one flying unit for towers? Yeah, I get that, but it's, you don't need to take out the towers. Alright, there we go. Potion of Toughness, that's good. Put that on Kugath. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Turn 12. And there he is, rank 8, and look. 
He got contagious. Chance of a plague spreading plus eight percent. Remember all those negative traits? All gone. And he's been respect. So he doesn't have any skill points there. Okay. Uh, Smotown did a 4.49 pound super chat. Thanks again for the quality streams, man. You got me excited again for the game. Alright, no, it's my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. Alright, so, like I said, I want to take this guy out now. Yeah, I don't, I haven't done the quest battle yet, and since Scarbrand's one was so tough, I don't know if it's a good idea. Alright, um, there's a camp over here, but I'll save that for later. Let's, um... It's not worth bothering about going after that. But I get it, whatever. Okay, let's just come over to here and go into ambush dance. Because I'm going to try to get there. And then you... Force... Ah, shit. He doesn't make it. Oh, fuck. I should have given him... I should have given him that, he might have actually made it. Alright, too late now. Um, wasn't thinking straight. Should I give him Pestilent Decay? Nah, let's make him a good spellcaster first. Look what fathers found, children! <laughs> Can you recruit ogres from that ogre camp? Um, if you're in ogre territory, you can recruit one ogre mercenary into each army. Yeah. Th yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll just have to suffer another turn of that. Alright, what's our mission? So let's have a look here. Grow your forces, recruit 20 new units. Um... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. My spirit, so. A wondrous day. All right, let's move on. I miss your super chat? Oh, sorry, dude. Uh, did I get Garrett's membership? All right, thanks, dude. Uh, Cole Main did a fight or some shit. You should name a character. Co no, I'm not doing that. Thanks for the chat, though. I'm sorry, dude. I can't see your super chat in here. Alright, that's the end of Clan Hellhine. I'm sorry, dude. I just don't. The super chat just isn't there. Show off the item. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's have a look at this item. Necrotic missiles. Necrotic missiles increase number of projectiles. Income from both battle loot plus 10%. Nurgle corruption plus 5. Recruitment cost minus 10%. Melee attack plus 8. Weapon strength plus 8%. It's like, it's, it's alright. Ambush was spoiled. Alright, Clan Hellhine's good. Uh, gone. Develop a cycle. Cyclical building through its full art. Alright, so that'll just happen eventually. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyone coming over here? No. As these settlements get leveled up, it'll be harder and harder for the AI to take it. We want to focus entirely on growth. I want to get that nice and growthy. And... Yep. Yep, I think the settlement is safe now. Only what I listen to is me. Because, yeah. Hang on, what have they got in here? Alright, they got they got 18 I units in there. That's a lot of fucking ogres. That's a lot of ogres. This is boring. 
rotting and pox make. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we should recruit some Nurglings and use two armies to bloody... I shouldn't have got rid of the, the rot fly in hindsight. I require to own them the most infectious. Inconceivable. Oh, yeah, we should be fine. Dissolve. Make them rot. I bring the play gift. Does Nurgle's income tend to fluctuate a lot because of the rebirth mechanic? Yes, it does. Yeah. There's a big difference between the income of a cycle level 1 and a cycle maxed out level. Big difference. So yeah, you could see... One turn, you're making loads of money, and then all of a sudden, a huge drop. Does the AI take less attrition in 3 as well? Yes. Yeah, they take significantly less attrition. Bile Trolls are going to be part of Nurgle DLC for sure. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Reinforcements are coming from over here. Which way should we attack? Alright, with ogres... Mm, okay. I think we should just focus on one area and attack through it. Big blob, because they don't have many missile units. And we'll just smash them that way. Because we got Mortis Engine effect. Our enemies are merely specimens. They're corpses. Yeah, moving around to the other side is just not viable with um with Nurgle. Okay, don't fire at will. Alright, I wanna go through here. We wanna keep all of our guys close together just because. Kugath gives such a big buff around him. Why Ogre Settlement looks like Kislevite 1? Okay, so this is a Kislevite... Oh, fuck me then. Oh, we can break through that. Actually, no, we might be able to prevent it. If you get there in 21 seconds, we prevent that from actually stopping us. Go, 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 go. Those guys will show up fairly soon. So yeah, I want him to shoot at Noblars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically Noblars that aren't in our blob, because if he hits our own blob, we'll do loads of damage to it. Okay, also, I want uh, Kugath in melee, because he can regenerate with this, and also cause the Mortis Engine effect. That barricade isn't active, because we're standing on top of it. Okay, now we get to see the Great Unclean one in action as well. Okay, yeah, he's a mellow, so that means... Yep, Plague Flail. Nice.
The more units they send in here, the better. Really trying to get rid of these Noblar Trappers. I think they're doing a fair bit of damage to us. Yeah, not like tons, but they are doing damage. Two guys is getting hurt. So again, with this, I don't need to reduce their speed. So that will restore about 20% of his health. Come on, boys, get over here. Before the battle's over. That spell does zero damage. No, no, no it's doing damage. Look, he's done eleven thousand damage. It's just that they've got a lot of they've got a lot of health, got a lot of entities. Good. With this one coming in here, it'll debuff them. Come on, you get in here as well. Man, look at that. They actually pushed us out of here. The barricade looks like it's up. Uh, no, not quite. He's done 15,000 damage. That's good. Yeah, this is the ideal situation for Nurgle. Just a big melee slog like this. Everybody is taking massive damage and we're barely getting hurt. But they're focus firing on Kugath. Once they run out of ammunition, they can't do much about it though. This guy here's already got fucking 41 kills. No way. How do you have 41 kills already? He just showed up. damage come on swing them titties let's go oh I cast a spell with him oh I, I didn't know that I thought I cast it with the other one come on there we go start swinging Maybe we should use the artillery now with him at the back of the line. I'll tell you what, blood boil right now would be pretty good. The battle of thickness right here. Still getting shot. 
Okay, I think we're better off with uh, with this. Let's pop that down. Overcast it. Oh, I fucking miscast every goddamn time. What's Kugath doing? We actually haven't killed that many of them, but they're all really low on health. Kugath has done 30,000 damage, but he's getting a bit weakened. We need to, we need to keep casting like just shit spells. Just so that we get that magic, that that heal spell. Gives him a lot of health back. Yeah, we're starting to push through now. Push through. Does Nurgle get life magic or just Nurgle and death? Nurgle and death. Although Nurgle magic is pretty similar to life magic. Ice Wolf did a 300 ISK super chat. Please name the Great Unclean one cheesy for its origin. Um, thanks for super chat. I, we don't do renames for super chats. But thanks, thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Sets a bad precedence if we do that. I'll just never, I'll get never ending requests. It's crazy seeing how little damage the Nurglings are taking. Yeah, they're super resilient because they're constantly regenerating because of this. Nurgling infestation, heal per second, plus 1%. They've got really high melee defense as well. You know, and look, this one has dished out 2,800 damage. Do Nurgle Lord's heroes get Nurgle's Fausting trait? I haven't seen it, no. You'd think they would, but no, they don't. Thanks for the chat, appreciate it. Alright, if you could shoot at that, that would be good. I think the tower keeps shooting at him, he's... Alright, he's almost at his max heal. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. No, it heals a couple hundred health. Okay, we're, pu we're starting to push through it. Getting you, bloody capture this. Aren't Plague Bearers better than Nurglings? Yeah, but they're like three times as expensive. And I'm in the red anyway. And um, 
Kugath buffs Nurglings like crazy. You can't afford to just get the best units possible as Nurgle. You just, you go broke. Come on. Come on, let's get going. Not much more to do. There we go, we're moving now. Let's keep casting these spells. Ooh, the Great Unclean one's taking some damage. Oh, you still got heaps of health. Okay, come on, keep moving. Keep moving. This is the big problem with Nurgle, just super slow. But you know, we barely took any damage. I don't even think we needed to hire those additional troops. Army losses should be triggering soon. I reckon all the damage has been done to us because of the towers. Come on, let's get moving. Be quicker to break through this than to walk around it. <laughs> it's just too slow. Come on, Nurgling Tide, let's move. Okay, get Kugat back. They're aiming for him specifically and he's very badly damaged. There we go. Army losses. Good stuff. So yeah, it takes a bit, but look how little damage we took. So ogres are pretty easy to deal with because they just lack missile units. The most amount of damage done to us was because of the gob uh, the Noblar Trappers. But when we go up against Sinch, that kind of what we did there would be unacceptable. There is no way we can justify doing that against Sinch. It just absolutely destroy us. Good thing the AI didn't bring that flame belcher in just to cast the spells into massive buff. They didn't. They didn't have any spells on it. Yeah, he's got no spells on that one. That's otherwise I would wouldn't have done that. Yeah, the the garrison um, fire belly has no spells. All right, I would like to occupy. Another laboratory. Okay, we can't afford this anymore. And I did want to keep this dude. Alright, let's merge some of these nerglings. But yeah, I just can't afford to keep him here right now. Okay, now we're making money again. Ogre Simping did a 20 SEK super chat. Show advanced plagues, please. Alright, thank you, super chat. Okay, so that's these ones here, the recipes. So this one, plague duration plus five. Um, five turns. Uh, no corruption for campaign movement range. Sorry, chance of plague spreading plus 15%. Experience per turn, casualty retention rate. So that's the crumbling ague. The Black Plague. Um, income from sacking and looting settlements. Yeah, they've all got the base... The Plague effects. Growth plus 50 on Nurgle settlements. Physical resistance 20 on Nurgle armies. And this one here. Plague effects on non-Nurgle army spell resistance minus 50%. Okay. Alright, another level up for us. So, Fetid Stench or Giggling Grenades. I think we, I really want to get to that one there. 
Really want to get that. Okay, what it was? What is it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get all that. So yeah, magical reserves. Winds of magic power reserve change plus 20% when it's increasing. Which we're not going to need. We're at 100 now. This region's tempestuous. So you can't go above 100. Alright. I think auto resolve is bugged. Close defeat went to crushing defeat for bringing extra units. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sort of. It's because when it said close defeat, the army was about on the same par. When we brought in the reinforcements, our army was actually stronger than their forces, but because they had auto resolve cheats, it gave us a crushing defeat. So yeah, if it says, if the auto resolve says you'll get a crushing defeat, that means your, your army is significantly stronger than the enemy, because they're getting a heroic victory for beating you. So, if it says crushing defeat, manually resolve, it should be fine. Like I said, massive auto resolve cheats that the AI get. Alright, now... I didn't really want to hold on to this province. What's going on here? They don't hate me that much. Hmm, we gotta be very careful when dealing with Cinch. He's going at war with the Flesh Greeters as well. Alright. Yeah, you gotta be really, really bloody careful playing as Nurgle. Because they, they can fuck you up big time. Alright, Public Order is going to revolt soon. Which is fine, that could just be something for us to fight. And maybe spread plague. Alright, all looking good. Alright, technologies. Let's get... Uh, let's just try to get to this next area here. There's nothing in here that we really need. Um, maybe... Actually, that's pretty good. Plague Flash Puppies. Because aren't I building that? Oh, not yet. I'll build that when we get to tier 3. Um, so that means we don't need it yet. Get, get that one first. Oh, uh, that's crap. That's crap. Why don't we get... Why don't we get that? Getting Exploding Nurgling Summons. It's not very good, the Exploding Nurgling Summons. It doesn't do much damage. They're not like uh, warp bombs. Um, I haven't found it particularly useful, so it's not something I want to prioritize. I got it in my other campaign, and I just didn't really like it. And because Kugath has so many skills, I think that's one that I can do without. Alright, let's move on. What is an eligible trait to now, if it exists? It still exists, it just doesn't do what it used to do. Um... It's kind of crap. Okay, so... I don't really know why they do it. It's probably because they're out of settlements. Um, we shouldn't order resolve this. <laughs> if we order resolve it, we will take so much fucking damage. Look, casualties medium. I, uh, this is not worth it. You just, you just, you just can't ever auto resolve. I've got massive auto resolve PTSD in this game. I've had situations like this where I auto resolved and it just wiped out half my army. And I'm just like, why? Why did you wipe out half my army? They didn't stand a chance. Will Kugath AOE damage from items stack with skill one? Yes, it will, because they're different abilities. Yeah, Shadow Broker did a two euro super chat. If Nagash releases, he better be damned overpowered. Yeah, it better be. Yeah. Thank you so much, appreciate it. I really hope that Wormer 3 had co-op for like, max 4 players. Well, it's max 8 players. So, you, you can play with 4 players, if you want. It's not like you're forced to play with 8. Um, I found that holding this position up here is best. On the plus, on the flippity flop, this is actually a good opportunity to get some experience for them. All right, let's um, uh, let's have a look here. So that does 265 damage base. If we go to this one here, it does less damage, but it has two shots. I don't know. I feel like that's better. Let's do that. Do you think CA will fix auto-resolve? Probably not. Uh, well, it depends. If people... 
if people complain about it, look, this is this is a legendary difficulty problem. Um, mo I look, I, I I personally think that when most people get this game, they are not going to play on legendary difficulty. I think people are going to be turned off from it. Like, if you want to actually have fun, can't really recommend legendary difficulty because it is. They, they didn't necessarily make Legendary Difficulty more difficult, they made it more tedious than it is in Warhammer 2. Significantly more tedious. I should disappear. Uh, Zaboyo did a 5 dollar super chat. I dig it. I dig it content, mate. Take 5 bucks. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate that. Yeah, keep these ones back. I want the, uh, the garrison to actually replenish. I don't have the heal spell yet, but if he just casts spell, then we'll get some healing in there. And we got plenty of magic, let's just spirit leech. Okay. Get Kugath in there just to um, provide them buffs, but I don't want him fighting. Are they getting any kills? Yeah, just just a handful. This won't take long. The towers just like yeah, this is how Nurgle is so good at defending, especially against ogres. Like they just look at that, they just can't break through. And they're getting fucked up by the towers. This guy here is actually healing. If it's tedious, then will you continue playing it? I'd rather watch you enjoy yourself. Oh, look, I'm fine with it. I'm just saying it's way... Legendary difficulty in Warhammer 3 takes way longer to finish a campaign than in Warhammer 2. Um, largely due to auto-resolving. Um, if you were watching yesterday's live stream, okay, we were playing a Norska campaign, one of the most difficult campaigns in the game, and I auto-resolved most of the battles. Imagine how... Imagine how far we would have gotten yesterday with our Norsa campaign if I had to fight every single battle manually. Because that's what happens in this. Um, I really do hope that they change it a little bit. I think it's kind of ridiculous that battles like this have to be fought manually. I do hope they change this. But again, if you're going to play on normal difficulty, you won't have this problem. It's, it's like, it's a legendary difficulty problem. I guess they really wanted... <laughs> for people who are playing on legendary difficulty to truly have a difficult time. Upgrade tower? Nah, that's fine. The tier 1 towers are just fine. Let's... well, I'm not going to get one infection. I'll take... I'll take the money. I wonder if flipped around an easy difficulty. Yeah, I tried out easy difficulty. I was able to auto-resolve an entire campaign. Well, you know, I played it for a bit before I stopped playing, because it was too easy. But yeah, you can auto-resolve every battle on easy difficulty. I'm not sure I missed the super chat thing there, did I? Sorry, it's hard to catch them all when the chat goes up, so... Oh yeah, Za, Za Boyo did a 5... No, I read that one. Uh, Verdant Squire did a £2 super chat. Hey, Legend, saying hello before going to the start. Alright, thanks, dude. Yeah, I, I think I missed that one. Okay. Cool. Do I have enough items to merge them? Because... Let's have a look here. Do I have... Okay, I've got... I got. Okay, I got Earthing Rod and Scepter of Stability. I don't like either of those, so... Fuse them into something better. Oh, no. Plague Fail is better. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I could give it to him. There we go. Oh, 
Alright, rank 12. Okay, Postulant Abundance. Reducing the upkeep cost for Nurgling units. Reducing the recruitment cost for Nurgling units all armies faction-wide. Passive ability regeneration for Nurgling units. But you gotta be very careful, because Cinch will fuck you up because of fire damage. Um, but at the same time... That saves me a fair bit of money. It will Victor Sternstrom did a 100 SEK super chat. What does the faction effect mean? Recruitment health plus 40% mean? Okay, so when you recruit with... Th thanks Super Chat, firstly. When you recruit units uh, with Nurgle, they go directly into your army. You don't wait a turn, but they come damaged. So when you recruit a Nurgling unit, it comes with 40% of its max health on top of the 25% that it would normally have. So they come at... They, they, they start almost full strength. I will butcher any who interfere. Okay, time to wipe these guys out, take out their camp, I think. Alright, what what happened here? Oh, we spread the rot. It'd be cool if the rot would actually go straight back onto us. Because <laughs> we've lost the rot. I want it back. Give me my rot back! Alright, can we order resolve this? What the fuck?! How the fuck is that a close victory? I get that these ones here are probably going to take the brunt of the damage. <laughs> Can we expect a Beastman nerf in Wormit 3, given how strong Chaos will be? Ah, uh, look, I don't know. Thanks for this. Uh, okay. Uh, smells like Throg's Hog did a $2 Super Chat. I'm a stinker. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Maybe it's the garrison that get wiped out. Yeah, probably, but I've seen the garrison get wiped out, and also half my army get wiped out. Legend, it's because you have Nurglings in your army. Bring Nurgle's rot. Look at that! <laughs> Oh fuck, this dude's a beast wizard. Ah, oh, Blob's bad, Blob is bad, Blob is bad. Shit, I'm actually taking damage. Okay, so that's why. Nurgle is super weak against magic. <laughs> they got a beast wizard and he's fucking me up. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, I gotta get out of this blob. Kill that goddamn lord right now. Okay, that actually makes a little bit more sense why it said medium. Like, we are so weak against magic. Come on, I need you to kill him quickly. Oh shit. Oh no, that's a new lord, that's fine. Ah, get out of this damn blob. Yeah, I gotta be more careful about coming up against spellcasters. Our army doing that so weak against magic. But we're we're okay. Still won't be a close victory. There we go. Yaroslav Daimdovich Demidovich did a two hundred ruble super chat. CA is just really proud of the beautiful maps they created, so they don't want people to miss them. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Super Chat.
So is magic strong against every chaos faction? Uh, except for Corn. Corn's got natural magic resistance. Yeah, look, I only lost 35 casualties. A beast wizard, they buff beast magic. Well, I was in a in a blob. Like we've got loads of physical resistance and melee defense, so magic just bypasses that. Alright. I will take hmm. Bring her back to the Alright, yeah, we're fine. Okay, now we've got this camp to do. I don't think I'll be able to auto-resolve it. <laughs> but that should eliminate them once and for all. Oh, I didn't get the plague. Uh, let's, let's, uh, give me a plague. Alright, so what do we want? I like... What do I like? Yeah, I'm trying to get this. Uh, not this one. This one here. Summon a unit of plague bearers. Uses two. So that's pretty good. It degrades over time, but it's still good. So let's go with a rot. Yeah, just go with a rot. Make it nice and cheap. Okay, we've infected him for three turns there. Alright. Blood Reaper's Z did a 5 pan super show. I know ogres are strong, but not that strong. Um, see, I can see that if CA doesn't rebounds or to resolve, a model will. Okay. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Can't just, like, medium casualties, we would have lost half our army. Okay, this guy here, I need to double check to make sure he's not a spellcaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I got caught out in that last battle a little bit. All right, let me just, um... Mm -hmm. Let me just double check him. Okay, yeah, he's not, no spellcasters. Okay, we're good. We're good. As long as there's no spellcasters, we're good. Okay, don't shoot. I'm gonna get friendly fire. Wait, what the fuck is doing damage to me? Oh, I think it was Kugath. Yeah, Kugath. I told you to stop shooting. <laughs> He's getting friendly fire. I found that when you tell Kugath to stop shooting, he'll still keep shooting. Does colonizing with an army instead of a lord give more growth? No. No, it just makes colonizing cheaper. But it doesn't actually, because then your army has to spend like 10 turns recovering. So that ends up costing more doing it that way. It's coming. Yeah, so Kugath is de definitely, well, Nurgle is definitely a faction for the patient. Same thing with Cinch as well. If you're patient with Cinch, 
uh, you can get ridiculous victories. Which I'll showcase at a later date. And they're easier to do them with Nurgle. I think. Guess Iron Drakes are pretty good against Nurgle. Yeah, they would be. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be very careful against that. Is Pestilence Abundance on Kuga's skill tree regen? I'll have a look. I don't think so, but I'll have a look. Pick Nurgle gameplay, get everyone together and hit fast forward. Well, it's was only a small army. If we're, if it were up against a big army, obviously I'll use better tactics than that. But by doing this, like we took four casualties, you know. Uh, there's a decent amount of infections from that. I'll take it. Ingredients for my blues. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. All right, they're finally gone. All right, let's get that plague ridden with the warrior bane. Cool. Yeah, reducing the amount of weapon damage by eight percent. It's not huge, but it's better than nothing. All right. So what was you? Oh, Pestilent abund Abundance. No, no, that's for, that's a regeneration for Nurglings, not for, um, not for him. Alright, let's give him some more health. That upgrade is worth a thousand health. Because I'm trying to get to Pestilent Decay. Turning him into a Mortis Engine. Which will speed up these battles a bit. Alright, what do we do next? Now that we've eliminated them, our enemies are only Krakadrak and uh, Darkland Orcs. I, if I go over and invade Krakadrak, well then we'll encounter Kislev. It'll just never end if we go that way. Whereas if we go north, we can pick and choose our enemies. Um, Warriors of Chaos are useless against Nurgle, apart from their towers. Um, yeah, they're absolutely useless. Because they're mostly just melee units. But the Tong like us. But they do start off with a pretty good province. Allow me to bless you with more. Mm. I don't think it's a good idea to go up against Cinch right now. Uh, Silent Gasp to 5 the Super Chat are maxed. Nurgle garrisons able to defend settlement cities decent like the dwarves are, or are they about as effective as greenskin garrisons? No, they are effective, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're very defensible. Thanks for the chat, appreciate it. Alright, yeah, we, we shouldn't go up against it. If he's not going to declare war on us, like, he's only at minus four, that's not too bad. I think we should just leave him be, for now. Kairos will probably confederate him at some point. Alright, public order over here, is, there's going to be a revolt. Now, revolts usually don't capture the settlement straight away. And even if they do, well, then we'll just take it back. So, we should stay in this region here because it's green as opposed to this one. That'll allow us to get replenishment. But we should also try to make sure that it, we're capable of reaching either settlement. So, go in. I uh, don't need to go into channeling stands. What for? Um, Cracker Drack. Uh, that's not gonna win. That's not gonna win. There's nothing to worry about there. Alright, Darko Wharf. Let's go with uh, growth. How we go? We got 10 grand in the bank. Cool. Get that. Public order here is quite stable. And we've got 131. Alright. If I set up a pox in here, that will get us some more growth. Yeah, let's do that. And that'll last... Three turns. Yeah, it's better than nothing. But yeah, speeding up the growth is good. 
Because if possible, we should try to get to tier 5 as quickly as possible. Are you anywhere close to Throt? Uh, okay, so Throt is... Right there. Fairly close. But if I come down this way, I'm going to encounter loads of Kislev. It's not really ideal for me right now, so I don't want to do that. Especially just to get an extra 10% health. Like, that's great and everything, but... Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. Maybe later on. Throt tends to survive. For a while, at least. And you can revive him. Alright, cool. Alright, there's going to be a rebellion. Let's just wait and see what it... Okay, what type of rebellion will it be? It'll probably be Cinch. Which we'll struggle against. Yeah, it's Cinch. May we please have a quest battle, please? Um, I'll see. I haven't done the quest battle yet, and I don't know if we're strong enough. When I did the quest battle with Corn, I only barely got through it. As in with, uh, sorry, with Scarbrand. Alright, whatever. Um... I could fight this battle manually, and maybe we could win. But we don't really gain anything from the victory if we do that. Whereas if I fight with, um, if I recapture it with Kugath, we could get more from that. Because I don't, this, this province here is just a punching bag. Um, Yeah, lose. I think it's strategically more viable for us to lose. Uh, chapter Surf did a 5 bill super chat. I heard that Total War Troy had a feature to easily redo restart battles in campaign. Does Wormer 3 have something similar? Sorry if you can't answer. It does, but not on legendary difficulty. Okay, that also means we didn't get any replenishment, but that's okay. Good, we spread the rot. Good, good, good. Okay, we have a cult all the way over here, which is nice. Um, we could... Five infections per turn. No. No. A random plague will be given to the settlement now. Uh, five infections per turn is pretty good. Raise an additional army. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. What are some of our other missions? It's actually kind of worth doing the missions in this. That'll get done when I say so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really don't think they'll win in any of these settlements. They'll have to starve us out if they want a chance of winning. Alright, so we take it back. Easy to do that. It might be a good idea to loot and occupy it so it causes another revolt. Revolt farming. Um, oh, right, 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 right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight Tong. We're going to wait 10 turns for that. So they hate us. But Warriors of Chaos are useless against Nurgle. Unless they bring a hell cannon, they can't do shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ronish did a 20 SEK super jet. Really like your content. Keep up the good work. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Any new settlements in the province of Krakadrak? Um, I haven't looked at it. I think it's a three province, a three region province. Does each respective chaos faction have to get a demon soul in the respective chaos realm? Yes. Yes. How good is it to focus on growth? I'm coming from other Forex games where population is the biggest deal. Uh, depends on the faction that you're playing. With Nurgle, getting growth is really good. It's better to have one really built up province than loads of shit provinces all over the place. Which is why we're sort of focusing on going tall rather than anything. Okay, um, now Nur uh, Cinch is really good against us. But he doesn't have that many units. So what we want to do here is spread them out. And we'll just see, here we go. We've got to be very careful, because <laughs> even though the odds are in our favor, like, we are so hard countered by Cinch, it's not funny. Alright, they don't even care about this. Especially their lords. Okay, what type of lord is he? Okay, pink fire of Cinch. Um, Spirit Leech won't beat him. 
this guy will. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's been such a hard counter to a faction since Dwarfs and Skaven, but yes, Cinch is terrifying for Nurgle. Absolutely terrifying. Nurgle is so bad against Cinch. <laughs> nice order resolve. Thing is, this is one of those cases where order resolve is kind of correct. Kind of. Infection is inevitable. Okay. We should definitely use Blight Boil because Okay, hang on, hang on. We should use Blight Boil because it can actually pass through the barrier and actually do lots of damage. Let's get him up. No no blobs this time. No blobs. Cinch magic fucks us up way too much. Is the order resolve based on campaign or battle difficulty? I'm actually not sure. I think it's campaign difficulty, but I, yeah, like I said, I just don't know. Stream is obscene, not that big of a deal. Blight Boil is pretty good against Inch, so that should disintegrate that unit. Screamies of Cinch are hardly a concern. The Pink Horrors are a big concern, because they, they do fire damage. Blight Boil over here would be good. Okay, we've captured a victory point. Move on to the next one. I don't tend to struggle with Skaven as Dwarves, only real trouble is ambushes and menace below us. I think Nogla is counted even harder. Um, yeah, well that's because you're going up against the AI, but when you play... Let, let, me, let me ask you, which is easier? When you're playing as Dwarves going up against Skaven, or when you're playing as Skaven going up against Dwarves? Like, if you're playing as Skaven and you're playing them correctly, um, Dwarves are like one of the easiest races in the game to fight. But when the AI is going up against you, because the AI doesn't realize its strength against you all the time, then you can beat it. Do spells ignore barrier? No. It's a vent. Careful, watch out for pink fire of cinch and also the yeah that one there. Fuck this up. Okay, they're focusing over here at the moment. Oof. So Nurglings is just a little bit slower than Pink Horrors. You gotta lock him down straight away. Also, the towers against Nurgle, they do magic and fire damage. So, also super dangerous. See, I couldn't even get through this one's barrier. Oh, 
Come on, slowpokes, get fucking moving. Okay, maybe it won't die. That one's gone. Uh, Dmitry Tsaryov did a five pound super chat saying Kislev. Alright, thanks dude, thanks super chat, appreciate it. Alright, army losses should be any moment now. Oh my god, my poor little beast of Nurgle, he's had such a hard day. <laughs> Look at this, I can't even get through this fucking barrier. Yeah, if you want to beat Cinch, you have to kill Cinch quickly. That's what Cinch is. That's why Slanesh is good against it. High damage, high speed. Fuck Cinch up. Oh, do you mind? <laughs> but low speed, low damage. Not so much. Okay, there we go. Does Throt use units from DLC? Yep. Yep, their DLC units are present. There we go. So, I took a few casualties, but we're only up against a handful of units. Nice. And okay, so if I loot and occupy, I'm mainly just doing it to cause another revolt. <laughs> Which <laughs> beats Cinch. But you know, we're gaining experience. Just wish it wasn't Cinch. All right, let's grab that. Yeah, it'll cause a revolt. It might be down here that it that does it too, but uh, whatever. I couldn't give a crap about this province, though. What's the highest turn count you played in Wormer 3 so far? About turn 90. Uh, alright. Decent amount of infections. coming in. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to do right now. I've got money coming in. Alright, so we can declare war on them in 10 turns. Unless they declare war on us first, which could happen. Uh, and then I'll just rush over there and try to stop them. Their strength ranking is lower than ours. But yeah, they've got a good province in here. Uh, one of the problems that we're going to face is that Cinch, this guy here, this Cinch is really good at spreading corruption into other provinces. Cinch corruptions. Oh, look at that. They're doing that to us here as well. Events 5. What event? Oh. Oh, it'll be alright. Okay. Let's move on. Are there Chaos Dwarfs in the game? No, not yet. Uh, oh, these guys are very friendly with this. Eh. Good. How hard is that quest battle? I don't know, I haven't fought it. But the Scarbrand one was very difficult. 
Um, the Kairos one, I fought that one. That's that's a fairly tough one. I know how to cheese that one, but um, it is quite difficult given how much you have to go up against. So I'm going to assume it's pretty tough. Ooh. Look, I don't care about this province. Give me the power stone. Unlock 10 plague symptoms for a null plate. That's garbage, but I'll still take it. Um, Soundbeard Studios did a $5 super chat. So what's after Nurglings? Um, what, for Kugas? I don't know. Like, you could go Plague Bearers, but... My problem with Plague Bearers is they're way too slow. Um, I think you go straight from Nurglings to Great Unclean Ones, basically. Alright, so... This time they didn't actually attack the settlement. That's good, I guess. On the field, it'll be a lot easier to beat them. I still have to fight it manually. But yeah, in a siege situation, fucking siege is such a pain in the ass. Wonder true. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, we're so hard counted by Sinch. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Casualty replenishment for Nurgling units is good. Missile resistance when fighting against Sinchian factions is good too. Chance of plague spreading, that's good. Uh, don't worry about that. Oh yeah, that gives us our next army ability. That is good. Because I haven't been using the other one. Uh, which one would be best though? Probably that one. Knuckles. Excellent cause. Alright, 13 units. Oh, he's, he's rank 9 though. Oh, you got the Fire Ring of Thori as well. Just gonna be careful about that. Alright, so... At Glut Port. We'll have additional 2 units there. I can't see them winning. I can't see it. They've come with too few troops. Exalted Plague Bearers shoot though, don't they? Yeah, but they don't have much ammo and they're still really slow. But you are correct. You are correct. Oh, look at that. We can auto-resolve it. Alright, who's ready for... Re are you ready? Nurgle's love shields us. <laughs> look how much damage we took. I guarantee you, fighting that, I would not have taken that much damage. Not even close. Alright, do I want infections or do I want... Favor. I think I'll go with... It's not that many infections. I'll go with favor. Alright, let's have a let's just have a quick look at this battle. I can always just cancel it if I I'm just having a look at the battle, I just want to see what it's like. Uh going up against dwarfs, but uh Yeah, Iron Drakes is a big concern there. And they probably have reinforcements. Um maybe when I'm at full strength I'll take it on. Maybe. Alright, alright, alright. So, I can force March to Karak Doom to get a bit more replenishment. Because, yeah, I think I'm done with this province for now. It's not going to revolt again for a while. Alright, we could also build this building here for extra control, considering there's a lot of uh, singe corruption here. And it's only going to go up. I think damaged buildings actually provide more infections than undamaged ones. Hmm. But the building does cost fucking 2,600 there. Hmm. 
Mm. You know what? I might actually be able to hold it. I've got the money. I'm going to go with that there. And that there. That should be able to just hold it for a little bit. Alright. Hmm. Uh, well, when I get back over here, we'll replenish a bit faster. Maybe I should switch it over to, um, to this. It'll give us a lot of extra replenishment, right? Uh, Darkshade, Night did a five dollars subject. Love the laugh, so nice and scathing. Now time to rewind and watch you during, during boring meetings. All right, no worries, dude. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. All right, so strong back mounts. Let's get, what do we need? So, the infrastructure buildings are good for increasing Nurglings. This one here is good. Cost five grand. When's our next growth? Um, two growth doesn't do it. We have to wait for three. But we're growing pretty quick now. So, getting... Hang on. Stormback Mount has 12 units in it. No, I don't really like the, the riders. Alright, let's build this here. Because that eventually becomes really good for money, and it would be good to have something other than Nurglings, at least as an option. Ritual for replenishment? Yeah, I know, but I'm going to be out of this province. I have to I have to stand still to do that. And he doesn't have any more fighting to do, so it's fine. If we're going to do it, we could do it when we come over here. Plus, when this gets researched, we'll replenish uh, quite quickly. The damage isn't that bad, and we just don't have much going on. We need to start preparing for a war against the Tong. And I'll, I'll have fully replenished by that point. Alright, this is all looking pretty good. Um, that pox is about to expire. Why don't we put a pox down here? Uh, Alright, what do we got? We got... Mm. No, I don't think that one's worth it. Yeah, I reckon... Uh, if we put this bleeding ears onto our regions here, we we should be able to maintain public good. Just don't tax it. Um... Okay, I'm just trying to think how to go about this. What what about these guys here? What what are they doing? Why don't we take on that corn faction up here? Specimens required. I might do that actually. Semi secure the province a little bit. Problem is, Kairos Fate Weaver is over here. Probably. Yeah, Oracles of Zinch. Um. Alright, okay, why don't we do this? Get a... Oh, God, they're expensive. More... Okay, hang on. Uh, Jan J did a PLN25 super chat. Does corn have ambush stance? You might be able to cheese using single lord with the destroy region, right? As bait for ambushing army. Yes, it does have um, ambush stance. Thanks, super chat. There's an eligible trait for you. I'm just trying to decide whether I should send him up here to grab the city, city of Splinters, or whether I should, um, I mean, I've still got, what, nine turns until this is ready to go? Yeah. Nine turns. I think I might try, um, at the very least, just probe them, see if, see how strong they are. All right. Okay, all right, here's what we'll do. I'll recruit a new... Oh, I'm low on cash. Yep, 
Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's just move on. Do you think Demon Factions compared to Worm are too strength-wise? How do you think Demon Factions compared to Worm are too strength-wise? Um, I think Corrin is stronger than pretty much every Warhammer 2 race. Except for, like, Beastmen and maybe High Elves. Um... The others, not so sure about. Maybe it's inches on par with some of them. That'd be nice, a cultist. So I can get some more campaign movement range. So it might be good to build up Glutport first, so that way I can get the hero recruitment cultist. Well, as I've said before, I'm pretty sure any of our garrisons here would be able to beat that dude pretty handily. No, I will not shame so I'm not going to worry about sending Kugath over that way. It'd be good if this would revolt and just get rid of this region so I don't have to declare war on them. Um, no, don't worry about that right now. But they're they're way stronger than me, so I've gotta be very careful. Way stronger than me. I got a small military presence there. I really should not have order resolved that battle now that I think about it. I really shouldn't have done it. What's a what's the cost to recruit new Nurglings? Two hundred and eighty. It's not much. I must test my contagion. Mm. I think I'll force march over to here. We'll get more replenishment there. Cause if I force march to here, I leave myself vulnerable. Okay, no, what I'll do, I'm going to send this hero here to go and scout ahead at the City of Splinters. And you go stand over there. Yeah, decent amount of replenishment. I need to know what's going on over here before we make that maneuver. Can you try to get the settlement through diplomacy? That's their only settlement, and we haven't met them yet. So the, the, the chances of you actually getting a, a settlement in diplomacy is basically zero. They have to absolutely love you in order for that something like that to occur, so I'm not even going to bother checking. I right, talking about this one? Um, let me just try Zamoski. Yeah, look, it's minus 52. There's no way they're ever going to give it to me. I think the only way we're going to get that is if we cause enough corruption and allow it. it they've got zero garrison there. Given enough time, it'll revolt. I don't think they're building it. And um, we can take it off them. Okay, okay, that might work. And like I said, wherever this one attacks, it, it doesn't stand a chance. It's too small. Have you demonstrated outpost recruitment on stream yet? How about renting an army? Um, in order to rent an army, you need to have a military alliance and you need to have like... 60 allegiance. Um, I don't have any alliances yet. I got some non-aggression packs. Um, we're just not in a position where we can do that just yet. Is legendary difficulty much harder than in Warhammer 2? I wouldn't say it's harder. I'd say it takes longer. So if you're lazy, you'll struggle with Warhammer 2. Uh, Warhammer 3 legendary difficulty. Alright, we got a good amount of replenishment there. So... What's that level of control? Oh, right, because it's a... Okay. Yeah, 
Let me see how much replenishment we'll get if I do that. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, Death Razor did two little chat. Karak. Karaka Karak is coming for you via ocean. Cracker Drac? Who cares? So. Thanks for Super Chat. Who cares? They can't win. The plague weaver. Yeah, don't worry about it. Alright, so tumultuous sorry, tumorous squirt is done. Um let's see. Unlock plague symptom postulant. Plague duration plus three turns, that's really good. Um, that's also really good. I, I really want this one here. That's good for Kuga. Okay, he doesn't have a plague on him at the moment, so we need to put down another one. He should always have a plague on him. Because it's so cheap for him. Um, well, what should we put in? Just do this one? No. Yeah, yeah, because we, we're trying to get this. We're at... We're at 30, so we've got to do it 20 more times. It just needs to spread 20 more times. Um, so, yeah, just go with that. And just hope it spreads. Uh, God Cleaver did a 5 euro super check. Damn, already turn 18. With Skybrand, it would have taken another stream, even though it was turn 15, 16 last time. Yeah, well, it's a different campaign experience, but thanks for super chat. Alright, why don't I go over here? And I will go into ambush dance just so we'll see, we'll see how things go. Alright, how are we going for growth here? Good amount of growth, but we need three growth to get to the next area. Um, like I said, I'll grow up the uh, the minor settlement first because I need to. That, that's how you recruit the, uh, the cultists. Alright. So yeah, I'm thinking about trying to snatch this settlement. Oh, they are growing their, their forces a little bit. I'm going to try and snatch that off them. And what I do is, what I might do is actually just merge whatever remains next turn and recruit a couple of Nurglings and then just keep moving. Alright, moving on. Will you be comparing Nurgle Plague to Skaven Plague at any point to see who is more plaguey? Uh, that's hard to say. I mean... Skaven has only one type of plague, really, whereas Nurgle's got a whole variety of plagues, and their plagues get better over time. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm not worried about it. They, they know they can't win. You can take the minus six and make the Cinch Settlement revolt faster. Um, yeah, yeah, but in order to do that, I have to create a cultist, and I, that requires a lot of infections. Look, it's going to happen pretty quick. Okay, let's have a look here. Acceptable. He's recruiting really slowly. He's about to get a revolt. How are we going down here? Okay. Alright, I'm going to merge all of my Nurglings into... Oh, perfect. Nice. And then just pick up another one. Wait, if we're going to assault the settlement, would a Chaos Fury be better? Ah, too expensive. Too expensive. Submit to my research. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't backfire too much. <laughs> so next turn I'm declaring war on them. And we'll just see how we go. Uh, could go good, could go horrible. We will see. We will see. Um, how did a five pounds of a jet? If the Warhammer world was real life, which city would you live in? Uh, Skaven Blight. Thanks for Super Chat, appreciate it. Alright. Very well. Corn's edict. Let's just hope he doesn't recruit like a fuckload of units. Otherwise I'll have to like starve him out. Cause he was only recruiting like one unit a turn.
How's Nogal's economy? Eh. It's alright. A little bit on the poor side. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore. Alright, how many units did he recruit? Oh, I don't think he recruited anything. Oh, no, he got one unit. Nurgle Ascendant. Nice. That means this one here gives us... It's the exact same thing. That's weird. Let's join war against Karnath's sons for money. Alright, 15 units versus our 20. But as I've said before, Nurgle is the hard counter to Korn. Uh, Soundless Jester did a five dollars super chat. Thanks for the great streams, Legend. Does the Plague Bearer hero Nurgling Palaquin actually do anything special? Not really. It's like one extra speed. And do you know why Corn can't do anything to us? Because he doesn't have any. Oh, he does. He, he can summon Plague. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Are you at war with other Chaos Lords from the start? Usually not. No. Alright. So Corn's Towers aren't too dangerous. Be too dangerous, but what we want to do is have like a big fight underneath the gate and utilize our mortise engine stuff. So we just need to get to a gate and shove all of our units through there. All right, bouncer power is in our favor right from the get go. All right, what would be the weakest point of attack? This area over here is fairly weak. Um, Camden Howick, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Uh, five dollar super chat, that looks sick. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate it. I think it looks like shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, literally shit. Because it's a diarrhea. Alright, um. Probably encounter the least amount of towers from here. Nurglings can't climb walls, by the way. Nor do I particularly want them to. Let's see how we go. Now, given how difficult Sinch was to fight, let's see how... No, 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 no. Let's see how difficult... Also, because he's artillery, you'd think, oh, he can break the walls. But look how much damage he does. He'd need, like, a thousand shots. Just don't bother shooting. Um, Top Waffle did a $5 super chat. I wanted to be wholesome and ask you how you're doing. I hope things are going well for you. Uh, yep, things are going very well. Thank you very much. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. What are you doing there? Are you summoning something? I think he's summoning... He summoned the blood letters. Okay, it's no big deal. Come on, I need you over here so that you can lower everyone's melee attack. Kugath, you get in that. Mortis engine time. 
Oh, we haven't destroyed the gate. Okay, the gate bug still work. It happens. Oh, that's a summoned one. Now, I did tell you guys to damage the gate. Yeah, they're still doing it. Okay, that's good. Get in there. Okay, this one here is taking a bit too much damage. Move it back. Yeah, it's. Been, I think it's been gate bugged. I think it's been gate bugged. It, that we need to actually break the gates. So yeah, it seems like the gate bug still exists. Okay, we got Blight Boil, uh, which should do a good amount of damage to Corn because he doesn't have much um, armor here. This unit here is probably gonna die. Yeah, we got this. This is not gonna be an issue. So much easier than Siege. Yeah, Corn can't really deal with uh, Noble very well. Come on, get back, get back in line. Don't want lopsided damage. Okay, we've almost we can destroy it. Come on, get over here. Come on, fucking destroy the gate so that guy can get back. There we go. Get back. Come on. Stupid gate bug. Alright, now Kugath can get into here and mortis engine them. Come on. Get back here, you dipshit. Who wants some blight boil? Who wants some blight boil? Uh, wait for the bigger blob to show up. We're in no rush. Yes. Yeah, Kugath got lots of health. Nearly 20,000, yeah. Nurgles, come on. It is done. What are they fighting? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, they've got a... Um... Oh, I was wondering what was going on. There's a... Uh, blood... Uh, blood, uh, blood Reaper in there, that's it. But he's not really doing anything. If we have a look, can't see a unit card. He's got two kills. He's not doing much. Let's move these to the back. Uh, yeah, and there's no towers shooting at us, so we're pretty safe here. Get rid of this guy a bit faster. You spirit leech. Uh, these blood reapers have loads of spell resistance. Not a good idea to use a shit spell on them like that. Yeah, he's going down. We just gotta be patient.
Yeah, he's going down. Nurgle's pestilence blew master. Yeah, that's doing all right. Soars ruling. Fingers of sickness. You need to shoot or not? Spreading infection. There we go. Okay, this guy's taking a bit too much damage. Let's pull him back. Okay, the enemy lord's dead. Alright, now that that's done, let's start pushing through. I don't have the heal spell yet. Why aren't they attacking Kugath? Not sure. That was a good hit there. Okay, what I'm trying to do is get them to blob up so I can pop down another blight boil. Just want to be more efficient. Uh, I don't want you getting killed. Okay. This is so much easier than fighting Zinch. Alright, let's use a Blight Boil. Just gotta be careful not to hit our own units too much. A little bit's okay, but not too much. Let me move back a bit. Good, yeah, that's it. Keep sending more guys over here. Good stuff. Yeah, even bloodletters, they just, they can't do enough damage. Okay, this one here. Get it. Oh, there's a fucking blood reaper there. Get him out, get him out. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not kill my dude. Get out, get out, get out. He's fine, he's fine. Oh no, he's go he's really going for my hero here. Get you in there. I don't have a heal spell yet. Get Kugath on the wimp. Fucking blood reapers. Okay, keep these two out. They've they've done enough. Don't have any other use for it. And we won. Yeah, Nurgle hard counter to corn. Absolutely, that was I over prepared for this. <laughs> so based on what you saw there. Like, that was as easy fighting them as it was difficult fighting Zinch. Like, they just couldn't do anything to us at all. Nurgle heroes got Rotfly mounts? Yeah, but I gotta hire, uh, get them higher level. Uh, Beast of Nurgle good? Yeah, having one in the army is good because it gives a debuff aura. Kind of like a river troll. Cool, and there's gonna be a revolt here anyway, so I might as well loot and occupy. I think that's the end of Karnath's songs. Yep. Alright, 
Alright, he's got a few settlements. But he's unlikely to declare war on us. He, he could. He could. What's his strength ranking? Seven. Yeah. He could. Alright. We're almost at, at that there. Uh, Lord of Stench. That'd be really good if we had any unclean ones, but we'll get there eventually. Plague Father's oration is good. Really good, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And we're almost at Pestilent Decay. And yeah, we're getting there. Cool. Alright, and that'll revolt fairly soon. That gets rid of all the corn corruption in the area, so that's good. Yeah, damage that provides more infections. I don't understand why it says recruitment pool size plus 50 for all units. I feel like it should say 0 0.5. 0 0.50. I don't know. 50 seems a bit high. Do Great Unclean ones smash? Yeah, they're, they're pretty smashy. Alright, with this province, because there's going to be lots of singe corruption, we just need to make sure that public order is maintained. Okay, and now we've still got time. We've got five turns to get back here. Cool. That was a good side mission while we were busy. Time to go take out the Tong. Cool. Alright, how are we going for poxies? One more turn. Okay, that's fine. And what's our passive gain? 16, okay. Didn't, didn't we have a, um, cult over here? Oh, it's only providing five. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, if I can capture this region here, then we'll have captured two provinces, which is nice. All right. Let's move on. That said 50%, which is not too much. Yeah. Yeah, if it said 50% of base, so it's just like 50% of one, then that makes a bit more sense. I wasn't around for the start of Wormer 2. Did all factions have massive gaps in their roster at launch? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Except for Lizardmen. Lizardmen were the only ones that didn't really need any of their DLC units. Um... And to some extent, the Dark Elves. But they didn't have their Spellcaster Lords. But the High Elves, yeah, they were really... They needed their DLC. Same thing with Skaven. Skaven needed it the most. Alright, that's good. Oh, I looted an Occupied. And it didn't call... I should have stood outside the settlement. Well, it's maintaining public order. What if I tax it? Minus four. Oh, and if I raid. Yeah, just get this revolt out of the way. Okay, cool. So we want to get glut ports because I want to get access to the cult of Nurgle. Cultus of Nurgle. If we do this, we'll get access to our plague riddens, which I can recruit anyway. Um... Yeah, do it there, because it's got a good port. And that's our least likely to fall settlement. Cool. Cool. Decent amount of growth coming in there. But we don't have a plague active here at the moment, so we need to set one up. Um, I like to do it at the at Gluck port. Actually, let's do it over here. That way it could spread to more regions that we own. Alright, we want to spread uh, just a regular pox. Is there anything else in here that's good? Yeah. See, another effect. You gotta add in an extra hundred. Uh, sorry, extra fifty. So, just the fifty will do. Because we're not rolling around in infections right now. Later on in the campaign, you will be, but not right now. All right, that seems fine. So this will definitely be. Actually, it could be a Nurgle revolt, which would be easy to deal with. All right, moving on. 
I feel like an outsider because I have absolutely no plan when it comes to gaming. That's okay. Just, you don't need to. Just play for fun. Don't worry about that stuff. Not here to judge. What? You're not an expert. Leave immediately. No, everyone's welcome here. Are cultists of Nurgle any good in an army, or are you keeping them as an agent? Yeah, I want to put them in the army. Oh, it's actually... Yeah, it's a Nurgle one. Uh, campaign movement range plus 20%, and they also um, can summon units. Yeah, Nurgle, Nurgle versus Nurgle is fine. Alright, so let's get another... Which one was it? I, oh, yeah, yeah, these ones here. We're up to 34 with that rot. Do we want any other effects? Infections when spread. Plague duration plus three turns is good. Okay, so it'll cost me 75, but this will last six turns. Hey, what if I kick that one out? 50. No, I mean, it, it's fine. Just If I have to keep doing it, it's not a problem, because we just need to do this as many times as possible, because I'm trying to get this. So the more times I have to do it, the better. That's because we're trying to get that one. That effect. Constant vomiting. Alright, let's just do that. Just make it cheap. Yeah, we still have to fight the battle manually. Close victory. Everyone is working here. Don't ask for my saves to be thrown out. No, I'll just say no. no. No one gets thrown out. You only get thrown out if you're insulting or, like, being disruptive. You can ask questions and I have the right to say no to something, but... Why do people get so insulted if they ask a question and I say no? Gotta learn to say no. If you say yes to people all the time, then people will take advantage of you. You know, if people ask for something you don't want to give it, just say no. Nothing wrong with that. You don't have to give a reason. Uh, hang on, hang on. What type of spellcaster are you? Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, be careful about blobbing. Yeah, even with combat modifiers, they're just not very good, the Plague Toads, I think. Kill their lord quickly. That would be good. Yeah. I don't regret losing my Plague Toad. <laughs> they couldn't. Oh, they did a lot of damage, but they couldn't get a single kill. Alright, I think the army losses is any moment now.
Uh, I don't think it'll be wiped out unless I get rid of that. <laughs> I don't know if I can catch up to it. Yeah, I can't. It's faster than me. Oh, well. Is Nurgle's closest comp from existing races Vampire Counts or Greenskins? Uh, they're closest to Vampire Counts, I suppose. They're nothing like Greenskins. What is the Beast of Nurgle all about? Any comparable Wormer 2 units? Think of it like a single entity river troll hag that doesn't have spell casting. I mean, river troll hags are spell casters. Single entity is mean. Yeah. It's like a good fighter that debuffs enemies around them. Like, not a good fighter, like a meh fighter. I don't know. Eldrin of the Mist did a five dollar super chat. Uh, how do you like the plague system for Nurgle? Do you have a favorite plague combo type so far? Uh, no, I just take whatever I need. Uh, I think the plague system is pretty good. It's very similar to the um, very similar to Grom the Pauncher's mechanic. Ooh, I don't want to trespass on that territory. We spread it. Nice. The time to attack Kairos Fate Weaver is when the, the the vortex things open up, but it's not. That's not happening for a while, and I'll probably be fighting in Tong area. That should be okay to order resolve. Basically, if you're up against the most piddly enemy, then you can order resolve. I didn't mean to trespass. You'd be fine. You get over it, right? You've got other things to worry about. No time to tarry. All right, let's just move. We move. All right, good man of public order there. Ah, oh, there we go. I've been waiting for this. Wanna battle with eight or more Nurgling units? Reduced upkeep cost for Nurglings. That saves us so much money. That's great. And it makes the Nurglings even cheaper. If we can get more of that, we can get a Nurgling Tide going. Because 20% reduced upkeep cost is friggin' ridiculous. You know, considering the up, uh, the supply lines aren't massive these days. Alright, we're almost there. All right, how are we doing here? Yeah, yeah, get that one going. That's a good one. The rot horde. So next stop for us is Tong. Good amount of money coming through. So yeah, we're we're fairly we're okay for money. We're okay for defenses. We're okay diplomatically. Let's move on. Uh, there's green skins down this way, but I don't know. We'll see. Breach is coming turn 30. Yeah, it comes turn 30. I'm not going to sit around here for eight turns. Uh, 30 ish. Like, which, like, could have in turn 34 um, that he gets going. Is it equipped? It was automatically equipped, yeah. Because it said it attacked to Kuga. Is Kugath a good spellcaster? He's a generic spellcaster, just um, same abilities as the other as the other ones. Good, we're spreading that plague. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait around here for seven turns. How are we going here? Ooh, there's gonna be a revolt. There's no garrison there. Uh, they, they're they gonna cancel the taxes. Do you think to threaten Sitch? Dare I wait here two more turns and then take Zamoski? Because that, that is worth it for us. To secure the province. Let me just check. Do these guys here reduce public order? No, because we're not at war with them. I shall shatter. Well, 
Well, if we're gonna do it, then let's do it from down here. There, there is a real possibility that they it won't revolt straight away. Because their corruption's going up pretty quickly. Oh, no, it's not something I'm plus one. Can you raid? Yeah. Yeah. I could probably raid them. It'll piss them off immensely. Yeah, I've already pissed them off. Good. That's spreading a little bit. Yeah, it's spread. That's good. It's good, good, good. Alright, uh, nothing else to do this turn. Moving on. A plague can reduce public order. Oh, yeah, but there's that depends if it actually spreads over. There's only a chance of that happening. I don't want to waste a huge amount of, um, of infections to do that. Infect them. It costs a lot of infections to do that. I'll use up everything that I've got. Yeah, give me the growth. Tell your grandfather we are receptive. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's raid them. Let's raid them. It should. According to this, they they can't fix it because they've turned off the taxes. They'll be pretty pissed off at me, but it says here that they do not seem to pose a real threat to you, so we should be okay. All right, let's upgrade City of Splinters because we've got money. We're, we're making pretty good money at the moment. And, yep, that gives us barely any cash, but that's fine. Okay, at Gluckport, what do we need? Public order's okay. 14 units. This is a region that can be attacked quite often. Nurgle corruption in adjacent provinces. All right, let's let's do that. Let's spread the rot around at them. See how everyone else likes it. Oh, I have an idea. So that I don't waste too much movement. I'll have this guy launch the attack. He occupies the settlement while Kugath keeps moving. Fuck, what if he can't make it? I dream of the well, if he can't make it to there, then this was a... Not that expensive. Alright, well, whatever. We'll, we'll see how we go with that. Hopefully he can make it. If not, no big deal. Alright, let's have a look here. Despicable Rival. Yeah, I did that one just because it's quick. Speed for Plague Toads or Double Experience. Nah, no, don't worry about that. Okay, cool. Anything else? Nope. Alright, moving on. How many of your viewers are not subscribers? Uh, 39% I think. It's been a while since I've checked. Do recruitment buildings cycle? If so, does that impact the w what you can recruit? Uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen for another five turns. Stuff of Nurgle. Defeat six Cathay. Okay. Ah, oh, he didn't make it. Yeah. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. What a wonderful gift! Oh, just come over here to reinforce. I might even be able to order with them. Look how tiny that the revolt was for them. Well, whatever, it'll be fine. 
Hey, we got the whole province. Nice. Right. See you later. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't overly Oh nice they're at war with Tong Nice Okay this could be interesting to see what happens there We should attack whoever loses Well maybe attack whoever wins Or maybe I should just attack them What's their strength ranking? You bring me hmm We'll see what happens over the next turn. Uh, Man noob 100 to 5 euros super chat. Soul grinder buildings seem to grow soul grinders even in minor settlements and make good dollars. Uh, let's have a look. Soul grinders. Let's have a look. Soul grinders. Two forty. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, okay. Okay, why don't we build that? Yeah, I will build that. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Super Chat. Yeah, yeah. I will build it. Just just not right this very second. Who's Tong? Uh, that's these Warriors of Chaos over here. They are not particularly strong. Um, Nurgle's very good against the Warriors of Chaos. Any, any faction that just doesn't have much magic or missiles is really bad against Nurgle. Because that's what... We have an extreme weakness to magic and missiles. Extreme weakness. Alright, he's out of his uh, rot again. We're... Okay, we're almost at 50, because that's going to be very useful for us. Pop that down. Just do it the once. Cool. Yeah, we just need to spread it seven more times and then we can summon Plague Bearers. Which is a nice army ability, makes us a little bit stronger. Okay, might actually be able to make, maintain this public order. Oh, uh, let's pop down... Yeah, that. Because public order seems okay. And then just... I was just wondering if maybe I should spread corruption over to there, but it, it would just cancel it out. Cultist hero. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, we just hit tier 3. Good thinking. Alright, let's have a look. Infectious or scabrous? Both of them suck. I don't know, I feel like that might be useful once in a blue moon. So yeah, the main reason to get them, the extra campaign movement range, and also Gates of Nurgle, so that gets... Oh, sorry, I thought it was Nurgling, so it's actually Plague Bearers, my, my bad, and a Great Unclean one, so that's really good. Uh, ben Hawk did a 20 NOK, so we Warhammer 3 sequel or prequel lore-wise? It happens at the same time, so it's a sideways sequel. <laughs> Thank you, Super Chat. So this is, what we're doing now is happening during the Vortex, Race for the Vortex, and during the reign of Karl Franz. It's, it's, so it's neither a prequel or a sequel. Okay. Can you still play Skaven in Warhammer 3? Not currently, no. So what I'm trying to decide now is whether or not to invade here. Or... The Tong. Because I can take out the Tong at any time, right? Yeah. I'm leaning towards going after these guys, picking them off. Because we can we can attack them essentially from two sides. And he's not allied with Kairos. And how does Kairos feel about him? They don't even they don't even care. Actually, if I speak to him... Yeah, Kairos doesn't care if I declare war on him. Alright, cool. But yeah, at the moment, he is a little bit stronger than me, so we just got to be very careful, because the the Sinchian armies are very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Okay, moving on. 
Why is the old guy younger then? Uh, it's just a... It's, it's like a retcon. That's all. It's just a design change. Wait, what was some of those equipment? I didn't quite see. Death's head. You get two uses of blight boil. Uh, those items are okay. Flickering. Six military presence divided across four regions means they've got 24 units, meaning they've got more than one army. If we could divide them, maybe we could beat them that way. Disease liberates. March <laughs> till we blister. Ruinous powers demand your utter destruction. What can you possibly say to forestall this? Okay, another problem is that they might not actually be fighting each other. They, they seem to be being quite passive. I'll concoct a perfect Alright, send this guy to have a little look around. Um... Yeah, if we can start at the Red Abyss, that might work. And, and this cultist will catch up eventually. I don't care about Tkarak Doom. Let's build that up there. Doing pretty well for money. Good. Get this to tier 3. Or maybe I should do all these minor settlements first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're more likely to come under attack. It must be utterly awful to have Wood Elves as Nurgle. Yeah, that'd that'd be uh, basically impossible. All the magic and missiles that they've got, no, nah, Nurgle order is. <laughs> they have to find a way to order resolve it. I think. All right, cooldown to lure of Nurgle and death spells. Armor for beasts of Nurgle only plus ten. Nurgle corruption all provinces. That's not too bad. Highly contagious. Lord recruit rank. Cycle time. Bonus versus infantry, or chance of plague spreading plus one percent, and passability for for great unclean ones. None of these are amazing, so I'll just go with the stuff that's quickest. What's the growth building for Nurgle? Um, it's this one here. So it's currently at rank three. It's moving towards number four, and it's um providing forty growth. The next one will provide eighty growth. Well, it's in its um, peak form. Yeah, they're being passive with each other. I need, I need them to to attack. Um, yeah, Cac uh, Cracker Drac is maybe they're busy fighting somebody else. Okay, whatever. Okay, and let's move on. Is there a specific location for breaches to spawn? Yes, they are pretty much set, yeah. They're not random. They always show up in the same locations. Nurgle seems weak. Compared to Corn and Cinch, yeah. 
I would agree with that. Good. At least in the early stages of the campaign. Alright, Red Abyss doesn't have any army there. They moved their army out. And they got a little bit weaker. Or maybe I... No, they got stronger. I got weaker. But maybe they're moving towards the Tong. How are the Tong doing? I have stepped into the yeah, they're fine. Get better units now that you have a better economy. No, no. Nurglings are good. Nurglings are good. With the units that I've got here, um, none of these are actually better than Nurglings in... Um, in this army. I don't have access to better units right now. Because because uh, Krugath boosts Nurglings by so much, these are the optimal units to use. But yeah. Um, Chaos Furies suck. Mm. Yeah, they they won't beat the Tinchian units. Um, uh, Plague Toads of Nurgle. Oh, actually, having slightly faster units. Okay, well, it'll be easy enough to capture the Red Abyss. May maybe I'll get a Plague Toad of Nurgle, maybe. Because it's a bit faster. And you do need speed. I'll consider that. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll raise a second army. Actually, yeah, that's what I'll do. Once I've captured the Red Abyss, I'll cre create a second army. No, I gotta cross over. Let's do it next turn. You meet us up over here. Alright, still got the plague going. All of that looks good. Hopefully, these guys cancel each other's army armies out. Or at the very least, if his armies are all the way over here, he's just not going to have time for me to, uh, to to stop me from capturing some territory from him. Who's weaker, Nurgle or Undivided? I'd say Undivided is weaker. Undivided has a worse start position. Like, the Nurgle start position is pretty comfy. When the Nurgle building cycle through the tiers, are they free? Yep. You only pay for the initial once, and then it's free. More Plague Toads. Okay. That might be a good time for that. Tell your grandfather. They are stronger than me. Tiny army there. I must test my contagion. Good arcane conduit. Alright, so building... Okay, I kind of want to build the infrastructure buildings here because it provides garrison where the military buildings don't. We'll eventually build the military buildings, but I need to make sure these cities are defended just in case it comes under attack. Because I wouldn't be able to get soul grinders anyway until I get to tier 3. Um, public order is fine. So, go with growth there. And upgrade Zamoski. Yep. How are we going here? Yep. Yep. Yep, Lord Recruit Rank, that sounds good. When a building cycle completes, does the building slot become empty or does the cycle continue endlessly? It just continues endlessly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to buy the building again unless you actually demolish it. It just it just keeps going round and round and round. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that the the rift is going to open up. Now, I'm not going through in the first wave. I usually don't. Um, but if you're going to attack Kairos, it's a good time to do that while he's away. But I can't imagine that I'm going to clean up this wall within like three turns. But we'll see how we go.
Yeah, I would say that Nurgle is very on theme. Like, I think they got the theme right with it completely. But yeah, it just... Ooh, that's nice. An opportunity to catch them on Force March. Follower of best Now's our chance. I probably won't be able to get to the Red Abyss, but smashing this army now would be really good. We don't want to wait until it gets in there. It'll just make that battle so much more difficult. Alright, you get over here. Alright, speak with the Tong and see if we get some money out of him for this. I have stepped into the realm of chaos and returned. There is nothing. Alright, we're at war with them. No spell can impede decay. Ben Hawk did a 50 NOK super chat. Oh my god, look at that crap. Um, do you think we see Narada lose eye in this game since he has eyes in this game? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it's it's not considered a prequel. They just redesigned him, that's all. Thanks for the super chat. You could enter Slanesh to get one of the bonuses on the first wave. Uh, the problem is, though, I would much rather expand than get those bonuses. Because you've got to be in the realm of Slanesh for a while. Um, you're, not, you're not wrong. But also, I just don't think that the bonuses are worth it. To do up within turn 30, not on legendary difficulty. It's I think it's way better to take advantage of absent armies of your rivals rather than try to get, you know, a quick cash grab, especially considering cash is not a problem for us right now. Isn't Chaos Undivided has all chaos units? Why are they weak? Variety doesn't make a faction stronger. Having access to all of the roster of all chaos factions doesn't make an army stronger. In fact, in many ways, it makes you weaker. You know, build an army with one unit, one different unit in each slot. 20 different units and see how effective that army is. It won't be very effective. See, most of the Chaos Faction's armies don't actually, um, like, work that well together. But you could combine two basic principles together. So, for example, use Horrors of Cinch with... Uh, warriors of, not Warriors of Corn, like, um, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe Plague Bearers, just for tankiness, that could work. Alright, we're going to do what we did in the, uh, oh, I can't Vanguard deploy there. Oh, i got to get around them. True God, Plague. I think I put too many on the side. Bring us of sickness. Okay, I'm not too concerned about Forsaken, but very concerned about Pink Horrors. Which is this metal or? Shit, they've got much more range. Get back. Oh shit, are they advancing on us here? No. I don't know. Okay, move up. I want to get them with a the blight boil. Is it possible with the new diplomacy to basically bully a minor faction into giving you free settlements if you're massively stronger than them? Pretty much nope. Like I've got a cinch campaign where I'm strength ranking one and nobody will give me any settlements. I can take them with the changing of the ways, but nobody will give me any settlements. Eldrin of the Mist did a five dollar chat. Do you think Chaos Demons Undivided should be playable in multiplayer in tournaments since they're weak? 
I, I don't care. Thanks to Chat, I just don't care about multiplayer. That's not my call to make. At least they're on force march so they can't run away from us too quickly. Oh god, that hurts. Light boil that one. At least he can heal. Con did a five year super chat. Hello, Jim. Question Can you change the unit selection color from green to something else, or is it race specific? I don't know, sorry. Thanks for super chat, but I'm pretty sure it's always green. Um, I don't know if you can change the color though. Damage isn't too bad there. We're about to um inflict the army losses, I think. Uh don't blob up too much because he's still got pink fires of cinch. A little bit of damage, but considering it's your know, Sinchi infection, it's to be expected. Uh, there's no way to recover any of the casualties. Alright, listen, do you recommend pre ordering for Ogre Kingdoms or wait for the sale after release? That's up to you. I, I, I'm never going to be able to tell you whether or not you should or should not purchase something. You have to make that decision for yourself. The only thing I can do is showcase you what's in the game, and then you just decide whether or not you, it's worth it for you. Can you explain why Nurgle is so vulnerable to magic and ranged? Okay, so he's got no armor. Um, they've got no magic resistance. And they're super slow. So normally, if you go up against a lot of ranged units, you need speed in order to harass the ranged units. We don't have that as Nurgle. Our fastest unit has like speed of 50 or whatever. Right, um, and since we have no armor, um, the p and we're weak against fire, the pink horrors of Singe just fuck us up, and they can keep outrunning us. That's why we needed to surround them. All right, we actually get a tiny bit of replenishment with that. It says zero percent, but I think, uh, yeah, I'll go with that. All right, can I go into a camp stance? Yeah. That's a decent amount of replenishment. But yeah, we'll hit the Red Abyss next turn. 
with these guys as well. Alright, this one over here. Yeah, I kept the growth one. Pestilent decay. It will supplement my boxes. And you bring me track. All right. Well, we'll see how we go then. Moving on. I think the Soul Grinder of Nurgle is seventy-five speed. Yeah, yeah. But that's a late-game unit. I I can't get them just yet. All right, that's fine. Yeah, like if I want to do a Soul Grinder spam, that would work against Sinch, I would imagine. But in this stage here, like getting a Soul Grinder, even one of them, I just I don't have any capacity for it. But I imagine Soul Grinder spam with uh, with Nurgle would be quite good, especially against Sinch. So what is happening over here? Well, there are armies somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Right, rid of this. Alright, let's attach our heroes. The fly lord. Oh, right, because it's at max health. Duh. I was trying to merge that one into that, but you don't do it that way. They will march with joy. Does Nurgle have any Stalking units or Vanguard units to take on the range units? Well, you've got Nurglings, that that's Vanguard, and they're, they're faster than Plague Bearers. But, you know, they're still very vulnerable to them. If you're gonna buy it anyway, why wouldn't you pre-order it? Well, well, pre-order it closer to when you actually get it. Look, it's up to you. Spend your money however you want, but I'm just telling you right now, if you are uh, pre-purchasing things, like, way in advance, okay, you're only screwing yourself later down the track, okay? That's entirely up to do. It's your money. You do whatever you want. But yeah, by pre-ordering something now and getting nothing, and you know, but getting it later, um, you could end up screwing yourself in the long run. But I get it that there's some situations where you got to purchase it now, or the price goes up, and that kind of stuff, like in South American countries. But generally speaking, for most people, the best time to pre-order something is like two or three days before it actually is released. So if you want to pre-order right now, go right ahead, but I, I don't recommend pre-ordering because you don't get anything out of it. But you get the Ogre Pack. You get the Ogre Pack two days before as well. Anybody who purchased the game like two days before it launches gets the exact same product uh, as those that pre-purchased it three months ago. Perhaps you should use plague drones to hurt the ranged troops. Yeah, the problem is that um, the plague drones, they suck. They're really squishy. I really don't like them. Alright, how are we going to do this? Okay, well I've got this. Oh, I don't want to charge in there. And spreading out doesn't work either. Uh, 
Uh, Elmer Tai did a five euro super chat. A burger today is worth more than a burger tomorrow. Teach them basic econ legend. All right, thanks, Dave. Uh, th thanks for the super chat. Thanks, dude. I'm doing some damage to them. We've got this fucking tower shooting at us. I need to move more over. I need to move more over here. You get the pre-purchase thing for a full week after as well. Yeah, yeah, but you can play it before then. Yeah, yeah, look, like I said, just do whatever you want with it. But one thing I ask is that don't get me involved. Like, don't ask me whether or not you should purchase something. It's your money. You're a big boy. You can you can make your own decisions. Okay, as long as we're out of the range of the, the horrors there, I think we're okay. All right, let's try for the black boil there. Hopefully that goes off. It's not great against Forsaken because it doesn't do much armor piercing, but it's good against Blue Horrors of Sinch. Okay, if, they, if their Lord isn't around here, it's okay to blob up a little bit. Yeah, we got him there. That's good. Okay, so far so good here. Uh, Mothman007 did a 5 budget. I saw a Laurelon Forest on the map. Do you think Wood Elf, Missile, Tremus, Strat? Strats can stack up against new Chaos Factions. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, I imagine Wood Elves would be very good against Chaos because of all the magic attack that they do. It's not great against Forsaken, that's the problem there. Alright. Yeah, because Forsaken have a fair bit of armor. Alright, we've got a good thing going here at the moment, it's not so bad. Of all the new legendary lords, who do you think would be easier to make a one-man army? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that to myself for now. I'll let you know later down the track. I got, I got videos planned. Good, Kugat's already got a fair few kills. Okay, we just gotta watch out for their lord, because he's a metal wizard. Yeah, if he pops down... Searing Doom on a blob, we are screwed. We can't spirit leech him either, because of the barrier. It recharges faster than you can cast it. Okay, okay, I've got way too many, way too many guys up in there. Move back. Way too many. Um, it's too far away to move around this way, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's get a whole bunch of them. Move that way. You go with them. Yeah, look, look, it's coming down, it's coming down. Uh, it hit their own units as well. But we gotta get out of this blob. You guys stay here, because you're too slow. But send a whole bunch of Nurglings around that way. Keep a few units fighting here. I go. Move up and do this. Actually, just get him into melee so they can do the Mortis Engine effect. Because these uh, bloody Chaos Knights have seen here. They're difficult to kill. 
Oh, we got this. We got this. That's good. So I go. That's it. No, no, no. Get, get closer in there. God, they're slow. Holy crap. Uh, where'd their lord go? Do you think the siege map incentivizes cavalry? This one? Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Unless the garrison's too big, then they block all your entries. Okay. Good, that one's gone. Alright, we're doing pretty well. We've only lost 100 troops and they've lost half of theirs. It's going fairly well here. Infection is inevitable. Yes. Corruption is salvation. Plague river. Yeah, just wait for them to start shooting before we pop that down, because that way they don't dodge it. They target Kugath, and they don't try to dodge this. Good, that'll get rid of them. But just to make doubly sure, let's get one of these. Final Siege would be a better experiences. I can't answer that right now. That, that, I'll answer that in reviews. When it, when it comes time to review. So the review should be around February 14th. That's when the review embargo drops. And I'll mention that then. But I, I can't do it now. Nogle's battle ability. So that's a heal spell. And this one slows them down. I don't like that one, but the heal one's good. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Over here. Good. Oh, we did it. We did it. There's the army losses. Nice. Actually, that went really well. We barely took any damage there, but everything went <laughs> according to plan, I guess. Um, they only really got one of their spells off on us, and it didn't do that much damage. But yeah, whenever I go up against Sinch, I always gotta be very careful. Very fucking dangerous. Since doesn't seem to be able to be Nurgle so easily. Well, that's because the AI did a bad job of it. If the roles were reversed, I could have wiped out most of this army. Like, we got some good spell casts off. They didn't utilize their spell casters. They barely were able to use their horrors. Everything just went really badly for them. Tempting to sack it, but it's a tier 3 settlement, so occupying it will make me get it a tier 2. <coughs> okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. We're almost at 6 hours into the stream, so if we want to be able to stream this another day, then I kind of need to get off now. Okay, so. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, this uh, stream. Um... I will be continuing this campaign again later this week, but it won't be tomorrow. Um, I've still got to figure out how long I've got available to stream 
um, and how much I can spread this out because uh, there's a limit to how much I can stream. But let's go chuck a host over to somebody and I will uh, then see you guys not tomorrow but the day after. Do keep a lookout for tomorrow's video. It will be, uh, let me just say, it's a shit video. Anyway, all right, who should we chuck a host over to? There's a lot of people live streaming Warhammer 3 at the moment. Who should get it? Let's make this a big host, because we've got 8,000 people here. Uh, Turin's doing multiplayer. Uh, Okoy... Nasty Pigeon. Ken Spartacus, Zervkovich, Mr. Smart Donkey, Inticity, Mercy the Mad. Let's chuck it over to Mercy the Mad today. Everyone's... Most people are playing Cinch. Okay, let's chuck it over to Mercy the Mad Go today. Alright, here comes big host over to Most of the Mad. See if we can get 2,000 people over. Oh, I don't think we get that many. But yeah, go and check out Most of the Mad. He's uh, another disciple of the Cheese God, to some extent. <laughs> uh, go check out Mercy. Okay. Look, if you want to go check out Okoy, go check out Okoy. See whoever you want, but I'm chucking the host over to, to Mercy. Because this is his first um, Warhammer 3 live stream. Whereas uh, Okoy has had um, opportunities to, to live stream other ones but it's up to you who, who you want to go and check out um anyway that's the end of this one appreciate you guys and i will see you uh not tomorrow but the day after later fuckers bye